level up Level up Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? How are we doing? We're back. We're back with another beautiful day. It's been a couple of weeks, but we're back on the grind. What's up, y'all? Best community on Twitch. How are we doing, Monarch? Good to see you, dude. RC Terminator. Z Sad. Apex. Yo, Juice Demons. Yo, whoa, 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 indeed. Not Yeti Boy. Great to see y'all, James. Good to see you, Leroy. IVG hitting with that tier two sub. Sub for four months. My goodness. Thank you again, IVG. Junior Coffee Guy with the Prime sub. Thank you very much. X Trolled, what's up? Yeet, yeet, bleep. How you doing? Scythers subbing at tier one. Thank you so Ooh. much, Scythers. We're so back. What's up, Colin Bear? Dusk. Good to see you guys. Vanessa, what's up? Mimi King. <laughs> All right. JJ Jr., what's up? What's up? What's up, Roland Puffin? You forgot Don't to say hi. It. Well, now you did. What's up, Brad So Rad? How you doing, dude? <laughs> and Roro, what's up, guys? Glad to see y'all here. Bruh. Let's go ahead and open up that queue for y'all. The juicy little queue. Let's go ahead and do that. Q's opening up in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and Q. What's up, Resist Jaguar? Has been a bit since we've seen you last. Hope you're doing well. Hope everything is great. Everything is going good over here, Vanessa. Thank you for asking. What's up, Shine Thaw? It's jewelry time. It's blue versus orange time. Level up. 
It's time to watch you guys play some games. We got our first lobby up. It's not Iron Victory, Harry Hardwan versus Junior Coffee, Gladiator, and The Boss. Let's go ahead and turn that music down just a little bit, yeah? Also over on YouTube, Mello Makes Beats. What's up? And Day, how are you doing? How would you join? Uh, actually, I didn't put the pinned comment in the YouTube chat, but if you're on Twitch, you can type in exclamation point Discord. I'm putting it in the YouTube chat right now, so just you wait. There we go. I put it there, and you can just click that link. You can join up in Jorbit. Make sure you follow all the instructions in the Start Here channel, and then you can figure out how to register a profile and how to get queued up for some games. We're happy to have you here today. All right, we got all six players ready to go. Let's go ahead and create this lobby. We will be on US East to start. RLCS roster lock is today, ends today. I think, uh, when does it end today? Let me look. It ends at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Now, give me another moment here while I set up the lobby. Didn't see a lot of changes in North America. Uh, some major ones, though. Stizzy going over to Dignitas. But largely, it seems that most rosters are staying the same. Uh, NRG signed up with Aqua, which I thought was interesting. Someone claimed I play next game. Well, there's a redemption for that, and you got to redeem it. 100,000 channel points. Oh, they claimed it, claimed it. Oh, all right, Leroy. Fair enough. That's 50,000. I need to make that more expensive. <laughs> all right. Enough jorbing around. Let's get the lobby set up. Lobby's up. Let's go. Yo! What's up, y'all? Good to see you. Beanie's back. The more time changes, the more things stay the same. At least for now. Face tracker. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. That should have gone away now, right? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. We're good. We're good. What up, potatoes? All right. All six players in the lobby, meaning we don't have to pause, meaning we are underway. So, wait a minute. I am, I don't have my personal HUD up, so I can't see it. You can see it, but I cannot. And now I can. I love that. Shout out Lander for programming this overlay for us. Shout out Zazzles for making all of the graphics. Uh, shout out Sunforger Sam, who's responsible for the BVO logo, all the sub badges that you see, and many other things in the background. And shout out to our moderators, Monarch, Slen, Timewalk, Fearless, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Consistent in the dark. Well, Monarch's not so much in the dark. And thank you for the tier one sub, Monarch. I appreciate that, man. Hope you've been well. As IVG will put the first ball in the back of the net. And we'll start the scoring. Whew. Oh, sorry. I was reading chat, and then I realized there's just a conversation going on. They won't let Apex Q because he doesn't have the registered player role? Did you leave the Discord, Apex? Audio? What's wrong with audio? Can you not hear the game? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You left the Discord? Well, first of all, don't leave the Discord if you're registered. Because then that bug will happen. That one will go downfield. Uh, I'll see what I can do for you. I think uh, I may just be able to give you the roll back, but it might not link to your profile. That's the biggest thing. So we'll see what's going on with it. You tried to add the roll, but it won't let you. Yeah, you're not going to be able to add it. Only, uh, only I can add the roll. 
So let me take a look at that after this game, Apex, and then we'll get you squared away. Sorry you weren't able to... Uh, I'm assuming that means you just weren't able to Q either, yeah. So I'll have to grab it after this game. What are their ranks? You're right, Devexium. We're still getting back into the flow of things. Thank you for keeping me on track. On blue, we've got Harry Hard 1, Diamond 2 as IVG puts another ball into the net. Iron Victory, the GC1 of this squad, and then you have not at Champ 2. On the other side, on orange, we'll give it a minute here. You got the boss, GC1, Coffee, Champ 1, and Gladiator, Diamond 3. So there you go. Got a GC1 on each squad, a champ and a diamond on each squad, low champ on orange, mid champ on blue. We have the O back finally. Yes, we are finally back. Had some issues getting internet connected, but we got those issues sorted out. And now we're here. But about half the game left to go. Blue. Hanging on to the lead easily, almost adding another goal to their total. Would have been a hat trick for IVG. And no one going to get there for the touch. Huge update today from the folks over at Rocket League. It's Psionic slash Epic. And that is that a, huge, a, a gameplay change is coming. You will now be able to see your teammates' boost totals on their nameplate. That is a huge update. That is something that I've wanted for a very, very long time. And now we get it. And it's absolutely massive. IVG slaps the ball off the backboard. Harry Hardwand, he does get there to lock them down. Blue happy to play this way. As long as they don't have to play much defense. Harry Hardwand back over to Knott. And a good challenge from Knott. Let that ball come into him. Time to flip well. Harry Hardwan popped it off the corner. Nice grab. Good stay on defense from Orange. They've stabilized for the most part. You saw Harry Hardwan harassing on the back line, trying to get a demo. Orange need a breakout. They have not had much offense to speak of. Only three shots on net. Here's the fourth, and it finally goes in. The boss will collect the first for Orange and split the lead. A little wifty wifty in the midfield, and Harry Hardwan coming up, not respecting Coffee. On that touch, he takes the wide approach off ball rather than sitting inside the lane to try to take that challenge. I think Harry Hardwan gets there as long as he doesn't take the ball wide. As you put it on the bottom of the screen, I do not agree. Any visual information while you're playing that requires you to take your eyes off of what's going on on the screen would be a bad change. I like that it's on the nameplate. You're already looking at the nameplate. It will take you less than a tenth of a second to look at the boost and be like, okay, I know what my teammate has now. Phenomenal change. Now there's no questions if someone... Really, we just totally nullified the use of the need boost. Uh, quick chat. Orange still trying to break this out. Give it an option, nay play or on side. I mean, options are always good. I'm never going to say that options uh, should not be added. So, sure. I mean, if they make it a choice, then that's your prerogative. But if they're not going to give you a choice in the matter, I would definitely just have it on the nameplate. The boss looking for this one high. Orange have the early or the late pressure, and everybody misses the ball. Not couldn't get there. Was he respecting? Was he respecting the touch? He's up, he's up, and... Oh, I switched off. I didn't mean to switch off. We'll never know. We'll never know, but Orange tie up the game with seven seconds to go. Uh, Jax, I'm not sure I can recall, but congrats on getting SSL, my dude. And welcome to the stream. Don't whip it! We do head to overtime. Blue... Looked like they may have taken the first game easily. Bruh. But IVG... He had scored those first two goals. Since then, Blue have not been able to get it done. Orange spent a lot more time on defense as well. Not as if that they just turned the Jets on all of a sudden and they were golden. Next change I'd love to see to Spectator, though, is... Uh, I would love it if Director Cam had player cam... Or player cam settings, including ball cam. Oh, no, he just got faked. Did the boss miss the touch? He missed the shot. It bounced off the ramp. 
Here it comes in. No, he missed it too. Orange. Orange. Score this one. No. <laughs> oh, no. A chance to close the game out. And Orange completely fumbled the bag. Coffee slips the ball out on the challenge. Orange will stay on offense for now. Gladiator gets the ball down over to the boss. The boss up high off the ceiling. The boss with a little bit of control. Dropper! And he's finally got it! <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort if you're talking to me. I have to say, the boss made that about as uncomfortable as he possibly could have. But hey, you get the job done, and Orange score three unanswered to win the game. Give it up for all six players in the lobby, as always, guys. Thank you so much for playing. All right, Apex, let's try to resolve your issue real quick. I don't know if it's actually going to register with your profile when I do this, though, so that's the only thing. But we will try. Keep note, guys, if you do uh, if you do end up registering, that if you leave the Discord, it will bug out. And I'm not sure that the workaround will actually work, but I just gave you the registered player role, Apex. So try queuing up and see if it grabs you. I see it let you queue. Try to do exclamation point profile real quick. Let's see if it shows your profile. Okay, it does show your profile, so we'll see if it does. It doesn't mean it will register, uh, but we'll see. Glad we could get you into the queue, though. All right, let's pop the next players in the queue. You played against me and Achieves in uh, c 3 2 Nice, Jax, nice. No doubt you, you won. Although Achieves and I had a session the other day, and we absolutely rocked everybody. Not That doesn't usually happen. What's up, Logan Robbins on YouTube? How you doing, man? Great to see you. That was your first time as a champ in BV. Yo, yo. Let's go, Junior Coffee. For some reason, I thought you were already champ. Maybe that just speaks to your skill. There we go. Leroy, Raven, GWAB, Chips, Puffin, and Dusk. You guys are our next six. Go ahead and hit the ready button for me, please, and thank you. All right, we got all six players ready. Don't scam you. What are you talking about? I don't scam anybody. I've never hit the wrong team. Don't ever. whiff it! We do not whiff. <laughs> oh, you redeemed the drawer. We plays the next game. Oh. Bruh. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Hang on. Bruh. Hang on. All right. Thanks for being a good sport, GWAP. I appreciate it. I'll re-add you to the cut top of the queue. Whew. All right. Now we will match add Jorby to the match. We will do rebalance, and we will play this one. <clears throat> Leroy redeemed the Jorby plays a game reward for 50,000 channel points. Don't whip it! And we may whiff it. We might. Bruh. We'll see, though. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. I'm going ahead and creating the lobby now. All right, lobby's up, guys. Get on in here, and let's start playing the game. We got Leroy, Raven, and Dusk on blue, and then Chips, Puffin, and Kirby on orange. This should be a fun one. Once everyone gets in here, we will begin the game. I don't know if I can pause when I join a team, but we'll see. Might not need to pause. Looks like... Raven and Puffin are here. We're just waiting on Chips 
and then we'll be good to go. I can pause. You just can't pause with a controller, which is interesting. It doesn't take controller input. Okay, we got everyone here. Let's go ahead and play the game. Jordan will play the second game of the day. And we are underway. Ooh, love that little touch. And Blue will score the first goal of the game. Uh, Dusk puts the first one in. And, uh, you know, we have central servers now. And I think this one was enough. No, we have one EU in the server. So I don't think uh, queuing central would have been the play there. But Blue will score first. Everyone in the lobby has played in Blue versus Orange before. Happy to see everyone back queuing up some games. Leroy's shot denied. And Jorby thought he could get around his teammate. Getting chipped a little bit as he comes back. Uh, Dusk off the ceiling. Nah, doesn't get much power or anything. A little bit of space. Jorby's going to take it. Flick it over the first defender. Second man is there for the challenge. Puffin sitting as first man. Flips it back. Jorby just trying to get in the way. Thought uh, Dusk would be there to punish the touch. Puffin still breaks out. Looking for the bump instead. Leroy a little awkward. And a demo as well. Jorby denied. I don't know who it was, but there was a blue card knocking that ball out to the side through the smoke. Leroy gets bumped. Actually, Jorby gets demoed. And coming back over to the side. A quick attack. Jorby wins the first 50. Puffin gets out of the way. Jorby has to rotate back. Blue have all the pressure right now. They're up top. Raven scores the second. And the opening minute, all blue right now. Raven with a perfect touch in the midfield. Got the reset and got a nice little... Uh, go to Leroy who almost got there puffing whoa what was that <laughs> that transition really tripped me up here puffing not able to get to that kickoff and chips will play it down nice challenge from chips puffing moving up the field as Jorby takes control pops it up over one so far orange not able to get much on offense at all I think they've spent about zero seconds in the blue half or really five seconds one time Puffin was able to break out. Now Jorby with a bit of control. He's challenged, tried to go underneath, but the little, uh, the little tip up ended up giving it back to Blue. Still Orange starting to stabilize. Jorby sitting back as third man, reading the bounce, just trying to keep it tight. That was a little too heavy of a touch on the nose and missed the follow up. We'll rotate close to the pads. Chips will negate any danger with the bump. And maybe should have got on the side there for chips, but felt a little uncomfortable. Got in the net initially. A uh, Dusk rotating back. And we'll get this follow-up touch from Raven or Willie. Yeah, it looks like chips going to let it drop. Or we're just trying to control. Beats the first defender. Needs some, or attacker needs some help. And Raven takes control of it. Drops it underneath. Chips got the save. Puffin moving down the midfield line as chips got the flick. And he's there on the middle. Leroy, no boost left for him. And he'll sling it right through the line. No boost there for Jorby. Blue looking for another goal here. Uh, Dusk underneath. It's taken away. It looks like Leroy might have been the one to take it. They're trying to cast and look at what's going on and also driving around at the same time. Always surprises me how much more difficult it is. Jorby will stay right with Raven. Not going to let him in again. Thought we might get a low 50 there. We got space. We're going to take it. We'll get through another one. Not a lot of boost here. Puffin trying to harass. Chips hanging back his third man. High ball again. Oh, held on to the reset for as long as possible. Raven couldn't get there. Now Chips gets the breakout. Jorby on the right-hand side. Puffin will take it to the left off the wall. Raven beats him on the 50. Wait for that second touch. He doesn't get it. Leroy pops it up over the bobble. Blue's flying in the air, but they won't get another goal. Chips. Jorby tried to give it back to Chips through traffic. He tries to get to it in time, but maybe not the play Jorby should have went for. It's Chips was still recovering. Jorby will easily throw that ball away and get some follow-up boosts. Has Chips got it? Chips got it. Oh, no. Jorby made Chips abandon that one. And Chips still got the flick off, but it's just a little wide. Puffin sitting in the area. Chips coming in off the pass. Big shot off the board. Jorby weak, super weak. Chips almost got it back. Jorby trying to get it back to Puffin, just get back to safety. All right, good demo. We'll get back, no problem. We're going to the left-hand side. Or right-hand side. Do I know my left from my rights? No. Tried to challenge Leroy. Couldn't put it in regardless. Despite Orange being able to stabilize, again, the offensive pressure isn't there too often. Oh, I turned off ball cam a little too early there. I thought that was coming farther down. Oh, oh, it's open, and Jorby does not have the boost, but he defends Leroy. 
And still can't get back to the ball in time. Puffin with a great touch out to the midfield line. Everyone else misses. Jorby just going for power here. Big power on the touch. Comes for free. Shot. No, no shot. Puffin comes in. Chips trying to hold him down. I think Jorby's a little slow here. I don't got the boost. That's in. Oh, we almost got it. Good try. Good try. Puffin will get there. Jorby will come to support. Big pass. Hold the flip. Got him underneath. Demo, 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 demo. No! Demo, 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 demo. Well, I don't want to demo you there. Go, 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 go. Go, it's open. It's open, Chips. Jorby! There we go! Wide open. Just bumped them out of the way. They'll never rotate back. Six seconds. We can get it done. Single hop. Oh, it's beautiful. Please tell me, Chips. Please tell me, Chips. Puff and go. Puff and go! GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. That was a fun one, guys. Thanks for playing. Resolve that to a blue win. And we'll pop the next players in the queue and keep on rolling. All right, we got GWAB, JJ Jr. I have more jinx than Asfara. Versus RC, Exonym, and Nova Maddy. Everyone go ahead and hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. All right. Lobby's up, guys. Get on in here. <laughs> Pre-recorded game. Indeed. All right, we got four people in here right now. Question mark, 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 question mark. And three others. We got five, we got six. All right, let's go. On blue, we've got JJ Jr., GC2, uh, Mimi King, Diamond 2, and GWAB Plat 3. On the other side, we've got RC just ripping it off the board. RC Champ 1, Nova Matty Champ 3, and question mark, 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 question mark which is Exonym, and Exonym sitting at Diamond 1. JJ Jr. will let this ball come right back to him and go for some control. We welcome him back to the lobby. It's been a couple of streams since we last saw, even accounting for the break. RC, nice move. The way he flipped put his car in a perfect position to take that follow-up 50 despite not having any boost. Exit him. Ooh. The danger of flipping there. You know, he holds on to that flip. Nova Matty won't even have to score. He might be able to put it in himself. But he flips before this touch happens from GWAB, anticipating the touch going up the wall. But really, you give it a second. You're kind of beat on that play, right? So even if GWAP does play it to the wall, even if you flip, you're still going to be behind the play. So it'd be better to wait to see if he messes up the touch. And GWAP did mess up that touch. You could have easily punished that one. And sometimes flipping early to try to catch up to the play is the right call, but more times than not, I find that patience pays off in mixed rank lobbies or even just ranked. So another goal goes in. Nova Maddy gets a great follow-up touch. All of blue smack themselves into the wall, making it easy for orange to score. Map change. 
On to Manfield Dusk. I got you, x -Troll. What's up, Faded? How you doing, dude? Great to see you. Exonym has been using question mark, question mark, question mark all week. Question mark X8. What's up, Fireboy? How you doing? K-Flip, good to see you. You know what? It's been a bit since I've last saw you. So va not, it's not Vase. I know it's not Vase. But my brain has forgotten what the actual pronunciation is. Good to see you. And I know we had that conversation before. All right. Very good. I feel like I say it every time. I say it right every time, and then I question myself every time. Oh, Nova Matty. Good try anticipating the touch on the wall. Couldn't get his car into position. However, Nova Matty really trying to be mechanical and methodical with the ball. Just doesn't have enough control. Hasn't been able to hang on to the ball on some of these tries. He's got good use of his pre-flip to recover on his heavy touches. But if he can shore up that first touch and make it lighter, he won't need that pre-flip. He can save that for a juicier opportunity down the line. I always think Vase like, uh, like a vase. JJ Jr. has the setup. Mimi King couldn't get there. G Wob also having some struggles hanging on to the ball. Orange with a runaway ball. G Wob gets there in time. Definitely uh, a difficult one for Blue here. They have the highest rank disparity in the lobby. With a plat three, a diamond two, and a GC two. Meanwhile, on orange, you got two champs and a diamond. So they're going to need to do some work. Meanwhile, it's the diamond on blue. Mimi King scoring the first goal. JJ Jr. leaves the play, and Nova Matty takes himself out of the rotation, driving up the wall, expecting Mimi King to play it up. Mimi King just lets the ball bounce, and that leaves an opening for the net, and he shot it well. Yo, Zen on top. What's up, man? Good to see you back. Blue got a chance to come back in this game, but Orange threatening with a goal. Let's challenge for now as it's dropped down again. Mimi King sitting on the wall, comes out for the challenge, and it's awkward for Blue. Struggling to get to the clears, but they have prevented Orange from getting in. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. Now you just got to find a way to score. Mimi King not a ton of boost here. RC easily lobs it over him. JJ Jr. giving himself some space. Nova Maddie on the prowl. Let's it drop. g -Wob helps him out with a little pool bump for the next save. What's up, Flamos? How you doing? A minute left and a wifty wifty in front of the box. Leaves it open for Mimi King, but it closes down quickly. A race to towards the ball. Exit and bumps JJ Jr. out of the play. g -Wob on the 50, misses the ball. Free ball for Mimi King. And he'll play it back out over to the side. Whoa, Nova Matty flings himself right by the ball. Blue holding on, got some pressure off of JJ Jr. and G-Wob. And there's Mimi King to close it down. All three players involved on this push starts with JJ Jr. The light touch. See Exit him really struggling to get a hold on the ball, tried to recover. And ended up flipping, maybe trying to wave dash there. But definitely going to need to keep practicing those in order to land it. Blue tie things up off of two Mimi King goals. Yo, as the legend, we are back. Absolutely. JJ Jr. bumped on the play. That's a big bump. Blue were a little far back still on that play. RC was afforded a chance for a clear. But you can't keep missing the ball if you're orange. They were looking pretty clean in about three minutes of this game. Things started falling apart in the last two minutes. Seen a lot more whiffs, a lot, lot of panic. Orange just got to settle down, settle in. As Mimi King races past the defense. JJ Jr. with a demo, and he's got the goal with a second on the clock. Don't whip it. JJ Jr. goes senior on the Orange team here. Nova Maddie deleted, and Mimi King was there just in case JJ Jr. couldn't get it done. And now only one second left. Orange are in impossible mode. Can they keep the ball in the air off the kickoff? It does go into the air, but it's going the wrong way. Exonym cannot keep it up. GG's, give it up for all six players in the lobby.
popping the next players in the queue. All right, our next lobby. Dang, Dormont's working fast today. Uh, we got Jaguar, Monarch, Decibel, Devexium, Roro, and ZSAD. Hit the ready button for me, please, and thank you. Monarch says he's not been nervous for a BVO match in such a long time, but he's nervous for this one. ZSAD, I can move you down. Replacing ZSAD will be Erebon Spence. It's your time. It's your moment. Go ahead and get in the active match channel. Hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. And yes, X trolled. I have already changed the map. Wait, it's dusk, not night. There we go. All right. All right, got Jaguar ready. Monarch ready. Everyone hit the ready button again. I wasn't looking. First BVO match with a bang. You got it, Mimi. Two goals, man. Good job. All right. One, two, three, four, five players are ready. I'm just missing uh, Erebon Spence. There we go. He's at the ready button. Let's go ahead and get started. How are music level, guys? Uh, I want it like below everything else, but you know, still audible in the down moments. Yo, Pigla Vantage, how you doing, man? Good to see you back. All right, we got everyone hopping into the lobby. Could go a little lower for music. All right, all right. How about that? That right there. That right there. Chad, if it wasn't for you guys, the audio mix on this stream would be a disaster. Thank you very much. Shout out to you guys. You know what? Give yourself a round of applause, chat. <laughs> Welcome back. It's great to have you guys back. If you forgot to change your ranks, Len, that's okay. Remember, if you have to change your rank at any point in time, you can do so by typing in slash register and just re-registering your profile. If you are in the queue, it will not reflect the update until you are processed through the queue. So keep that in mind. Remember to try to keep your profile rank uh, updated with your current twos or threes rank, whichever is higher. That way the Jorbot can properly balance the lobbies as it is so good at doing. As long as you're honest, Jorbot will be honest. We're underway with our next game. Decibel, GC2, Monarch, Diamond 2, and Jaguar GC2. So this is, Jorbot's going pretty hard on the, uh, on the balance here. Two GCs on the same team with a Diamond 2. And, wow, Orange. Look, Devexium, that one should have been in. But that's okay. Because on Orange, we got all champs, okay? Champ 3, Champ 2, Champ 3. Now, I don't know if you guys saw... And we'll probably talk about it a little bit later because I do want to do some other things today. Uh, I want to go over some NA teams since NA is going to be, or the Open Qualifiers, double elimination will be this weekend. And then uh, RLCS proper will be next weekend with the Swiss stage for North America. So I want to preview uh, a lot of the teams. And a lot of teams in NA haven't changed. So we're going to get, I think, some valuable tape to look at to see what uh you know what we can expect from the different teams in na this time around g2 and gen g they looked pretty good uh yeah g2 and gen g looked pretty good on land 
G2 especially obviously had that insane run that they did in Copenhagen. Uh, but, you know, as K-Flip was just alluding to, I would think that Diaz to complexity to replace Dorito is probably the biggest move outside of Rule 1 picking up Venom in place of Amon in the Middle East. So South America and the Middle East make uh, a few key changes out of the teams that are competing for the major. Complexity made the major. Rule 1 had also made the major. They did not perform very well. And so, uh, you guys, if you've watched my stream for any point of time, as Decibel puts the first ball in, you'll know how big of a Venom fan I am after we watched him. Yo, Tezza, thank you so much for the five gifted, bro. Huge. Huge. You think the complexity move was not great? Hey, that's an interesting take. I'm the exact opposite. Complexity going back to NA? No. Complexity are staying in South America. Uh, the other the other big move that isn't really, uh, I don't think it was officially announced, but Shift had uh, placed the announcement for it. But Stizzy is going to Dignitas in place of Gyro. I think another interesting change there. I am a little sad because I thought that uh, I thought that Gyro for the most part it looked pretty pretty decent, and I just want to see Gyro play. I just want to see Gyro be successful. That's all. I love him. Decibel gets another goal. Orange had a little bit of pro uh, a bit of a problem here, getting the clear. Monarch flips it up high, and I don't know where. Where are you driving? Who was that? Was that a uh, was that Jaguar? No, that was uh, Arabon Speds. I'm not sure where he was seeing that play. I should have switched to his cam. I'm not sure. Oh, that's right. LCT and Realize got dropped. I forgot about that. Arabon Speds will score and split the lead, making up for his earlier mistake. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of LCT. and I think LCT and Realize both got dropped for imports, which I have to say has to be my least favorite thing I've seen this offseason. Or uh, I don't like calling I don't like calling the time between split one and two the off season because it's technically not the off season. It's technically just the break. So maybe just calling it the break is more correct. LCT was good too. I, I don't I don't know why the change off of LCT. Arabon Speds might get his team a second goal here, and he does. He gets some help from the blue team who was feeling some pressure with Orange breathing down their neck. But Decibel was in an uncomfortable spot. Arab knew to stay low. And Decibel, unfortunately for him, he's going to watch the ball crawl into his own net. Who was it that's replacing... Uh, who's replacing him on Gladiators? It was Tho, right? Which, I'll be honest with you, man. I was shaking my head so hard at that. I said this before. Like, I... T oh, Devexium. That's a... I said it before. Have you watched Devexium fake out the entire blue team? Hang on a second. Watch him work. What's he selling? I don't know, but everybody's buying. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Devexium, that's a nasty goal, bro. What a fake. Anyways, I was just going to... Oh, ZPS. Yeah, ZPS and Tho. Jaguar will put this one in. Orange got the lead. And this lobby is lacking in defense, to say the least. Double commit and third man pushed out upside of the net. Erebon Speds tried to recover, but his car was still turned around. And just a messy game defensively on both ends right now. Yeah, Z, uh, ZPS and Tho... Uh, but to finish my statement earlier, you know, I, I totally see the value and I agree with, I agree in a vacuum that, you know, having higher quality players in your region should, in theory, help the overall level of the region increase. There's a couple key problems with that, though. Problem A, these imports don't usually scrim teams within the region. Problem B... Well, I mean, really, that's just the problem. R really, problem A is problem A and B all summed up into one. So I really dislike imports to minor re or to expansion regions 
from a, uh, from a major region, especially one that's been here since Season 1. And I just think it's lame. Cause it's not lame if you actually scrim those players in the region. But, like, if you go to play in the region and you don't scrim anybody in the region, like, that's super lame, dude. And, like, mega cringe. Like, I don't really care what your excuse is. You're like, well, I might get worse as a player. Then why are you playing in APAC? That doesn't make any sense. Touch off the wall. Down, to the, down into the net. Mikan is going back to detonator. Mikan and J-Box have been scrimming for weeks. Gotcha. Look, I'll rescind all my statements if Tho and ZPS scrim the natives of their region. But if you don't do that, then like you're just you're just you're actually making APAC and SSA situation worse. Because then those native players are gonna stop playing. Because they're not going to get better. Because you're not playing against them. It's like, it doesn't do anything for the health of the region. If you're, if you're, if you're going to, if you're going to make the decision to do that, in my opinion, you burden yourself with a responsibility of actually doing what you would do in any other region and scrim that region's players. I've said that about a million times in a row. No need to be redundant a thousand times. Decibel will score the game-winning goal over the entire team. He dunks and he splashes himself into the infinity pool. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the round. All right, pop the next players in the queue. Oh, yes, card got replaced on crew with Wisty, which make me very sad. All right, we have Scythers, Fe uh, Phoenix, and Brad So Rad versus Juice Lemons, Shine, and Elisa. Everyone hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. Those clouds getting louder and louder. Doesn't that mean your fan base is growing? And what's the craziest part about that, as is that the wave file that I play every time has not changed. You know, that just goes to show you the power. <laughs> the bandwidth is affecting it. All right, we got five people ready. I see Womp Womp, Juice Lemons, Elisa, or Dark Kami, Scythers, Brad So Rad, and Shine. Everyone's hit the ready button. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get into the lobby. Lobby's up, guys. Get on in here. Thoughts on who Moist might pick up? I don't know what Moist are going to do. To be honest with you, if I were Moist, I think your best bet is to try to grab TSM. Uh, but I'm, I'm assuming that TSM will just make an asking price high so they can get a benefit, uh, you know, a, a return on it. Obviously, there's POAB. Uh, POAB, we're able to make top eights. As far as getting into top four, I think it's a little more difficult. I think Moist are in a really tough spot right now. Because all of, all of the teams that should be making majors are uh, all locked up. All right, we got six players in. Let's get going. On blue, Brad So Rat, Diamond 3, Saigo, Champ 2, and Phoenix, or Finksy, I guess. Uh, GC2. On the other side, Juice Lemons, Diamond 1, Shine, uh, Shine, GC2, and Sakukami, GC2. So two GC2s and a Diamond on orange. One GC2, a Champ, and a Diamond on blue. Uh, from a purely financial perspective, I wouldn't do anything if I were Moist. Uh, but I don't know if Moist do everything based on pure financials. Uh, based on everything I've seen from Moist, they are 
very much a want to be in the scenes of the games we love type of org. You know, much like Space Station in that regard. All right, Mimi Kang, thanks for hanging out, man. We'll see you later. And I think Moist were willing to stick it out with Joyo for as long as Joyo was willing to stay. But, you know, these things change. And obviously, Joyo can't make a change for two players if he wants to do that. Oh, nice shot from Fangsy. All of Orange were in position for this one, or in a position to play the ball. See, Juice Lemon's up for the initial challenge. Fangs gets it over him. And everyone else was still recovering. Third man too far back. It has to be the follow-up man to try to get that ball, but that initial challenge off the mark. Great shot from Fengsi. Said if only Cloud9 was like that. Well, I mean, really most orgs are not like Moist. You know, you, you single out Cloud9, but most orgs in Rocket League also probably wouldn't sign a team that they had if they weren't consistently making a major. And we, ha we have some, like, real passion-fueled orgs in Rocket League. Uh, I did mention Space Station, but there are a lot of also uh, smaller orgs like your Solaries uh, and otherwise. Endpoint as well. I would, I would say Endpoint are very passionate about Rocket League. It's been a while since one of their teams even made a major. They still are heavily involved in the scene. Another shot here, but just wide of the net side. Goat couldn't get that follow-up touch in. You miss A-Crew? Yeah, A-Crew. For sure. So kind of shocking hearing uh, Joyo say that Moist didn't have the pool to get top-tier players. I think a lot of players want the... You know, I, I, a lot of players see what other orgs have. And I think they want they want those things, right? They see the value that other orgs bring. Uh, I think Moist are, in my opinion... A great org to be a part of just because it's a great space great people that are running the org nice goal from juice lemons a lot of chaos here in front of the box so you see the first 50 come out brad so rad is back juice lemons gets the high touch brad so rad sees the other defender in the air gets on the wall expecting a touch no touch comes and then his teammate gets bumped so he can't come in for the follow-up so it really all hinges on brad so rad if he can understand that uh the second player is going to whiff the ball there then he'd be okay, but he got on the wall expecting a follow-up touch. I think that's a risky spot for Brad Sorad to ride up. When you see that second touch coming, really trying to go and defend the double from the net might be a little easier. Orange have a goal on the table, but they leave it on the table. FaZe Clan? I don't got anything to say about FaZe Clan. I love the players on FaZe Clan. And that's it. Yeah, e United left. I think E United, or I'm not thinking E United. I was thinking Endpoint. I didn't say E United, right? Off the bar and popped up. A little risky here in front. Oh, heavy touch there from Juice Lemons. How about Optic? Optic are cool. Uh, you know, I don't have the same, like, legacy ties as far as, like, fandom goes that other people do. But I've never heard anything bad about Optic. Popped up high. Again, it's not wrong for an org to be focusing on their financials, you know. Y'all who hang around Twitch streams and you hang around, you know, esports personality streams a lot. Oh, my God, Psycho. Nailed that shot. 42 seconds left. Juice Lemons, mistouch, trying to read that. And really, he doesn't need to flip into that ball. But he wants to play it hard on the wall. Why? You're not facing immediate pressure. Just let the ball bounce onto your nose. No need to flip there. Like a preventable goal there from Juice Lemons. Uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. Orange might score again. Oh, Brad Sarad gets there in time. Shine comes up for a follow-up challenge. I'd like to remind everybody that the 
Champ, Diamond, and GC2 are currently beating the two GCs and a Diamond. With 18 seconds left. Saigo got the boost. Juice Lemons puts it up high. And oh, everyone's missed it. Sakukami! Oh! That was a chance to tie the game. Had to do it through a little bit of traffic, but could not put the ball in the net. And as a result, they got to do it through the air. And that task is much more difficult. Blue getting in front of every challenge, away from the rotation, and down to the ground. GG's. Blue win the game. All right, we popped our next players in the queue. I absolutely agree, Slen, that Dignitas are included in the passionate orgs of Rocket League. Uh... Dignitas have always been passionate about the scene. Oh, I know what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys have spent any amount of time near any esports personality stream and you, you follow the esport religiously, uh, one topic of conversation you've heard ad nauseum is how esports is not profitable. Esports is a lost leader. And that is especially true for orgs it's not even a lost leader for orgs because lost leader means that you're able to sell something else uh by offering a service that you're losing money on but esports orgs outside of a scant few offer services that actually net them profitability outside of paying for their teams still one of the big problems in in esports right now some orgs have figured it out uh and i think that you know the content creator led forces in the world are the best examples so far but, you know, it's not wrong for an org to focus on their financials because an org has to exist if it wants to exist. So uh, in Rocket League, you know, salaries were inflated for a very long time, especially in North America. I don't know what it's like right now, but I do know everything's been going through a regression slash kickback. All right, we got all six players ready to go. Let's go ahead and create the next lobby. All right, lobby's up. You surprised when you found out G2 is a Spanish org? Yeah, used to not be. I actually don't even know who owns G2 now. Uh, but if it's under Spanish ownership, then that makes sense. All right, we got everybody in the lobby. Let's go ahead and play the game. Colin Bear, champ one. Potatoes, champ two. And Vanessa, champ two. On the other side, we've got Zsad, champ three. Tall, champ two. And Craterade, champ one. So your average champ rank lobby here. This should be very familiar territory for everybody playing. Zsad will score first, splitting the defense, actually uh, dicing the entire defense. You thought V1 were profitable? No. There are literally only a handful of orgs in all of esports that could consider themselves profitable. The rest of them are spending a ton of VC money. And those who haven't expended all of it already are still expending it. Vanessa goes right through the defense for the response on the goal. Gets a hard and fast touch down the field. Zsad has to turn quickly. And Vanessa jumps high initially. Zsad too much lateral momentum the other way by the time he flips. Making it easy for Vanessa to win the 50. Great 50 from her. And that will give Blue the game time goal. And just because an orc is spending money doesn't necessarily mean that they're profitable. You know, COVID, uh, COVID era esports had a lot of venture capital uh, giving a lot of money to esports orgs. And many of those orgs were irresponsible with that money. So... It is what it is. That shot goes through. Colin Bear freezes the orange team. And it's that touch right there. Creator aid. He ended up giving up the touch. He tried to make up for it for a 50. You saw both players on orange rotate into the corner. No one's immediately covering net. They're not expecting that follow-up touch to kick back out to the midfield. But Creator aid's initial loss on the touch was not able to get there. Another redemption for me playing a game. This will be the most games I've played in a stream ever. 
All right. We'll get in there for the next game. Potatoes. Pass over to Colin Bear. And Colin Bear apologizes. That's a tough ball to handle. With any kind of effectiveness towards the box. So, you know, no harm, no foul. Except Craterade. Knocks this one straight down the middle. Ties things up for the orange team. Hard touch off the wall. Nobody there to respond off the board. And that leads to a free rebound for orange. You got all your points from watching the major with me? Nice, Leroy. Very nice. Oh, no. What happened on the kickoff? We're going. We're going. And oh, no. We neutral hopped. Oh, I've been there. I've been there, Vanessa. It happens. Although usually my car goes like 30 feet in the air when I don't, because I, I don't hit my jump button. Actually, neutral hopping mid flip there is kind of impressive, but Colin Bear will grab the touch and it'll be cleared out over to the side. So Orange get a quick lead and may add to it. Vanessa will boom the ball back down towards the midfield line. ZSAD gives her the space to take the ball away. Teams waiting for the play to develop. ZSAD will start with the push. Potatoes sitting down underneath. Everybody trying to get a handle on this ball. A little panicky on it. Vanessa makes a nice chip pass to Potatoes with a demo to clear from Colin Bear, but nobody could put the ball in the net. Free ball again for Colin Bear. Plays it slow. Good space ID there from Colin Bear. Got bumped on the play, but you've done your job. You force the first defender to make a move, and then you beat the first defender. The rest is up to your teammates after that. And now taking a pass from Potatoes. They'll get a free goal. Nobody in the net from the orange team. And what happens here? Potatoes. Uh, we're just late. Everyone's just too far downfield on the overcommit. These kickoffs are sus. Potatoes. Lobber with everybody racing. Potatoes, Vanessa, Colomero, everyone jumping. Now it's a free ball, a free race, and a free goal. You know, don't put all your eggs in one basket, and certainly don't dump all your eggs onto your grandma's floor. She will be very upset, and then she will score. I don't know where that analogy was going, guys. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I haven't cast it in two weeks, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa indeed. The defense has not been the main course on the menu today for a lot of teams. A lot of high-scoring games today. Bruh. Yo, what's up, Lighter? How you doing, man? Don't Great whip it! Doing good. We're doing especially good with the good news from Rocket League lately. You know, Blast making good uh, good changes off of community feedback. Psionics adding things to the game that have been long part of community feedback. Blue tying up this game, scoring the eighth goal total. But Rocket League last week added central servers. And then the week right after, they add in uh, nameplate boost totals. So you no longer have to guess in ranked about how much boost your teammates have at any given point in time. You now know. And that will allow you to make potentially better decisions in your games. It doesn't mean you're going to make better decisions. It also doesn't mean your teammate still won't take your big boost while he has 90 boost. But it does mean that you will have more information. And we love that. Tall sits underneath it. Trying to force that ball in, but it's not going to happen. Oh, ripped across to the side. Uh, I think I think people who are complaining about the change, about it lowering the skill ceiling, are just misguided. I wouldn't call them stupid. I think that, especially because a lot of the comments are coming from high-level players that usually play in voice comms. Oh, that's a nice skip from ZSAD. Oh, I love this from ZSAD. Hard touch, got a demo from his teammate. Missed the ball and then popped it right over him. A little, little break check on him. 
It will not lower the skill ceiling. It will raise the skill floor. Having ac You're not supposed to be fighting your teammates for information. That's not a useful skill in any game. That would be like you not getting a time... That, that would be like... Oh, Tall gets another one. This one might be over. That's, that's, the same, that's the same as saying that you not getting a timer off of a jungle camp in a MOBA that your jungler took out would be lowering the skill ceiling. That is equally as ridiculous. It lowers the skill floor in ranked because you're already not communicating boost information. At a pro level, it's almost negligent. You know, you shouldn't have to be battling your own teammates to stay in sync. If anything, it leaves comms open for more useful information. A more useful skill to have. Info sharing should be about your opponent, not about your own team. In my opinion, that's bad game design. If you have to info share with your team in order to stay in sync, if it's not like a mystery game of some sort, you know what I mean? Especially the competitive game of... Uh, it is limited information, but mostly perfect information from Rocket League. That will come down. You say that it helps lower ranks. Right, so that means you're, uh, you're raising the skill floor. If it hurts high-level players, then you're lowering the skill ceiling. But if you're raising up lower-level players, then you're raising the floor. That doesn't do anything to the ceiling. If anything, it raises the ceiling because now all that brain power for pros can be, for, can be uh, put into info sharing and thinking about what your opponents are doing, which is where your brain should be focused. You shouldn't have to worry about how much teammate your boost has, or how much, how, much, how much boost your teammate has. You should just know. It's so min, it's such a minor and minimal change that in my opinion, it's barely worth the discussion. The people saying it lowers the skill ceiling is a misunderstanding of what the skill ceiling and skill floor are in terms of the definition. All right, we're popping our next players. Like I said, uh, like I said to AJ on Twitter, you know, it's you're still going to have to, at pro, uh, at, in pro play, you're still going to have to calm your position and intent. And those are infinitely more useful to your synergy and, and uh, being in sync as a team. Knowing boost totals changes very little. I forgot to uh, put my uh, forgot to put myself into the lobby. So give me one second. Thank you, Normie, for being a good sport. We'll get you in next game. Like, knowing your teammate's boost total is not going to make you make better decisions. It gives you an opportunity to make a better decision, but that doesn't mean you're going to. It's an objectively great change, and I don't think there's any downside to it at any level of play. All right. We had It's Gog redeem the Jorby Plays This One game. Uh, and so we will play in this game. We got Caliber, Abacus, and Only Gog ready. DS is ready to go. I'm ready to go. I want to see, I just need to see Lil Mello, and then we're good. All right, little Mello, thank you. Let's go ahead and create the lobby. All right, lobby's up. Let's get going. We're playing our second game of the day. You have to redeem 50,000 channel points for that.
And we'll get in there as soon as everyone's here. So have to learn that having no boost means you're not completely useless in that moment. See? And that's why I say I think it raises the skill ceiling. Because it will expose the bad decision makers out there. It will expose you for making a decision based on a lack of information versus you making decisions with information. So, like, if you make poor decisions Level with information, up. then that means you were only making the correct decision with a lack of information because had you known, you would have made the worst decision. That's why it doesn't lower the skill ceiling. Yo, Jumpy Wizard, thank you so much for subbing with that tier one sub. I appreciate it. All right, we got everyone in here. We're going to join the orange team and not hit spectate. Look, I'm, I'm trained, man. I'm, I'm absolutely locked into that spectate button. All right, let's do this. We lost the first game. And we missed the boosts. But, you know, that's okay. Now Jorby in a tough spot. He ends up missing the ball. Or he hit the ball, just couldn't keep control. This team is going to have to recover for him. He's got... He's up against Lil Mello. It's Gog. And a double tap. Not going to happen. He fakes everybody out. Matt City will score. Matt City putting the first ball in the back of the net. O'Caliber and Abacus on Jorby's team. And yeah, Jorby probably could have waited for a minute with his teammate committing on the play. Either way, Blue will score first. And yeah, no overlay when I'm playing, because that would be cheating. Because technically you can grab boost information on these overlays. And I'm not paying attention. Matt City had enough of a touch. I thought that was wide. And it was indeed on target. Sitting up a little high, Matt City gets a free goal. I'm going to slow this one down. Oh, oh, oh. The cheat-ups. We're not landing our wave dashes. That's fine. Abacus will get the clear. And Matt City will wait for it. We're not going to let him do it to us twice. Does he have a reset? He did. Very nice, Matt City. Very good goal. He gets through the entire team. And O'Caliber dusted on the play. Great catch on the reset. I'll be honest, from this distance, I could barely tell. I have uh, Rocket League very tiny on my screen so I can see all my information. So playing on this tiny screen is not the easiest and that's the end of my copium playing back to Matt City and DS hitting it up high no was respecting that follow-up touch caliber will come in and help out not a lot of boost here 17 Jorby can't drop it mid we'll steal the boost and get the follow-up touch oh he might have just helped the pinch efforts there get wide wait for the play to develop behind him Matt City up for it shots from orange but we're good no own goals in this lobby. We're getting bumped a little bit, though. Little bounce off the ramp. Caliber stays in position, and Matt City denied on the follow-up 50. Abacus, left with control, can get the ball downfield. Back to O'Caliber. Well, there's been plenty of comebacks today, and I got a good feeling about a comeback here. There we go, Abacus. You take. Matt City, he's not done. All right. Thought Matt City was done. I haven't seen him play that well in a long time. I really, I don't think I've seen him play this well on the control ever. I didn't respect him at all. But he had enough boost to get a follow-up touch, and he's done it again. Dude's dicing up the plays. And I just got to get closer to my monitor. I can barely see. Ugh. There we go. All right. fine we'll go back that shot should be off it's in cool going very poorly for Jorby at the moment as about everything is going wrong we have definitely had better games Jorby failing his team we'll see if they can get things sorted real quick a hard touch follow up. Matt City has pulled off. No boost steal for Jorby. Just trying to shovel this one out of DS. DS wins the touch. Jorby the last man back again. And the shot. Big shot. My God. Why are the shots so clean? There we go. Jorby got to get back. Matt City's been dicing up the entire lobby. 
Abacus up for this. Good soft touch. Jorby gets bumped. Wow. <laughs> Everything going wrong there. Trying to avoid getting bumped, get bumped anyway. Now getting demoed. I cut probably too early into the, or ahead of the net there. That one's a little wide. Abacus plays it. We just need some more boost. We'll let that play keep going. Abacus goes forward. Caliber up next. Decent shot. Matt City got the save. All three commit, but we're still on the play. Pass, and the shot is good. There we go. We throw out the great pass to our teammate because we are kind. And Matt City tried to get that clear. Caliber gets a good pass out, and we were ready to punish. Is it DS or D? Yeah, it is DS. I don't know why my brain's having a real hard time reading that. Now, I've messed up my kickoff, but we recovered well enough. He's currently 5-1 in the game. And yes, the overlay breaks when I am in the lobby. Because you are not allowed to pull information when you are the one playing the game. That is a rule of the API. Drop down. Trying to bump. Keep him out. We score again. No, Matt City's back. Through the smoke, Matt City through the whole defense, and that'll be another goal. I may just end this one early. But we'll see how the last minute Don't goes. Limp it! There we go. Play it out to the corner. Bump one, but follow-up is there. Rotate through the middle of the field. Matt City got his reset. We're saving that one. No! <laughs> uh, we had the clear, but that's okay. The shot was real juicy. And I would have gone for it too, Abacus. All good. Matt City getting the Brazil. Abacus helping him out with a great goal. We bumped another one. Lost control of the ball. Matt City staying on it. And we'll play it up. High ball again for DS. Got the first save. And the shots will be coming soon. There it is. Matt City got the save. Or Jorby got the save, rather. Matt City shot denied. And we'll be moved down the field again. Not a ton of time left on the clock. Looking for one more. Just for the road. And that one drops down. Abacus gets the touch out. And that will do it. GG's. Give it up for all five players in the lobby. And I think from now on, just because of the stream experience overall, I am going to definitely have to take away the uh, channel point reward for me playing because the screen is just too small. And I don't think it's a very good experience. It's hard to play and cast at the same time, so. All right. GG's to all players in the lobby. GG's to Blue. So just know if you do redeem that, uh, sorry, you wasted your channel points. We might have, we, I think someone can give you the channel points back, so we will do that, but uh, no more games from Jorby. It's hard to play on a 720p screen uh, when I'm sitting pretty far away from my monitor, so. All right. Bruh. Go ahead and pop the cue. Harry Hardwan, Head Biggins, The Boss, Not, Normie, and Gladiator. Hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. All right, six players already. Let's go ahead and keep going. Lobby's up.
What's up, Chucky Purple? How you doing, man? Good to see you. The wife is good? That's a weird question. All right, we got five players in the lobby. Just waiting on a uh, gladiator. And once gladiators in, we get on going. There he is. There he is. All right, let's get going. Another game. All right. The way brain cells are going to be working here. We got the boss. GC1. Normie, champ three. And gladiator, diamond three. On the other side, Hen Biggins. GC2. Harry Hardwand, diamond two. And not champ two. We're already, we've already rotated through our first competitors. Hard ball. Henbiggins got the touch. Cleared back over to the side. Henbiggins off the ceiling. Everyone's feeling so mechy lately. Everyone, everyone's, been, uh, everyone's been working on the mechs in their off time. It shows. I do, I, I do know I see... Hen Biggins in that call a lot in uh, in Jorbit. High ball flying in, no goal. They dismantled some bronzes and casuals. Yeah, you show those bronzes. You show them. High ball again here for Hen Biggins. One, two, but could not put it in. Good pressure here early from Orange. It was 13 to 2 and you had 11 goals. Do you feel good now, Puff? Do you feel good now? Well, good catch, Harry Hardwand. That was a great catch. I don't know if you intended for that, but it was a great catch. The boss. Ooh, good idea on the pass. The gladiator was still lurking forward. Normie denied by not flying in the air on the backboard. High ball from the boss. Gladiator free touch. Bouncer off the post. And no goal. No touch. You feel good? That's good, Puffin. I'm glad. You want to play bronzes no, to uh, feel superior? What the bronzes ever do to you? Bruh. You guys are going to create, like, the next zen. Don't let that be encouragement. Because he's, it's only going to be zen in your rank games. He's like, oh, wow, I remember I played against you when I was in bronze. You suck now. That's going to happen to you if you keep dunking on the bronzes. <laughs> you nothing against the bronzes? Then why are you taking it out of the bronzes? Come on now. Yeah, only one person is laughing in that lobby, X-Trolled, and it's not the bronze. A very high scoring day overall. This one completely scoreless. The boss plays it back over to Normie. Say it's good practice for them? Okay. <laughs> oh no, Gladiator will pick up the goal off the whiff here on the orange defense. Hen Biggins. A hard touch. Thought he could catch controller Normie out. He did not and then not miss the ball. And uh, you know what they're gonna say? Gotta hit the ball. Blue take the late lead. Controller Normie, after watching Orange get bumped around, tries to take the challenge, misreads the bounce, takes the boost for his effort. 
Control and Normie rotating back as the boss takes control. Gladiator gets a bump, but no touch from the boss means Orange should break out of this play. But it's a little awkward for them. Hen Biggins got harassed trying to slow down. And the bounce really prevented him from getting out on a clear quickly. Now you got a hard touch out downfield. The boss will move it quickly. Normie. Nice touch. And a whiff and a goal. The Gladiator gets another one. The benefactor of the orange whiff. Again, Normie gets the touch out the center. Harry Hardwan tries to get there, but he's already too late. Nothing he could do about it. The cat engine noise. Beautiful. You were never a proper bronze? I think when I first started playing ranked... Don't whip it! Uh, I don't remember what the... Or I think the first rank I was put into was Challenger 1. That was back when the ranks were their own lore. Instead of just the boring bronze, silver, gold. Uh, they kept champion. They kept grand champion, which is cool. But I miss, I miss all-star, superstar. I miss the unique ranks, personally. You were prospect? Okay, okay, okay. The prospect days. See, I love prospect. I like prospect way more than I like bronze. Now that they changed the item rarity names, maybe they'll change the rank names back. I don't think they will. It's been they've, been, they've gone so many seasons now with the uh, the standard metal naming. Boring. Blue will win the game, though. Not boring in the game as the boss picks up another goal, and we will call it there with eight seconds remaining. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. <laughs> Next six players keep popping. Why are they changing the rarity names? Uh, I don't know, but... Uh, I'm in the minority when it comes to the item change, the item name change. I like the, uh, I like when games get like lore specific with their naming conventions. So I'm a fan of it. I understand, like, I, I understand the value behind consistent language across games because it's more easily and read readable by new players. But I really don't think the names are that difficult. I think it'll be confusing at first. But, like, the names to me feel like there there is a progression with them. So. Are the replays broken for in between games? I am just not running the replays today. I'm still getting back into the flow of things. All right, we got all six players ready. I do appreciate you checking. Lobby's up. Let's go. I think we got a new gold with us. They should make it junior go-kart driver to F1 driver. That's funny. All right, wait for everyone to join the lobby, and then we will be ready to go. We do got Penguin here. Beautiful. Penguin, welcome to BVO, your first lobby ever, and he comes in at gold one. We got a new gold, and Aeon is not here. Oh, Aeon is here. Okay, we're good. We're good. So on orange, we've got HN and Aeon, GC1, GC1. And then we've got Penguin Gold 1. Say, Brother Penguin, as Aeon puts the first goal in on blue. Well, hang on a second. We'll wait for the replay. Uh, on blue. There we go. Uh, I believe Apex, GC2, Dopak, welcome back, GC1, or not GC1, Champ 1. And then 4K 
or uh, no, it's Spulk, Spulak, Plat one. So we got a Plat one on one side and a gold one on the other side. I do love how these lobbies are just straight up first come first serve, right? In order of which you queue. And yet somehow, most of the time, when there is like a gold or a plat in the lobby, there is always, there always seems to be an, either an accompanying plat, low diamond or gold to go with them. Which is crazy to me. Like, the, the split of ranks always seems to be decently distributed in terms of trying to balance the lobbies. And it really is just first come, first serve. Like, there's no rebalancing. GWAP, you say Penguin is your sister? For real, or are you memeing? Here's a touch from Apex. Apex, two touches, and he's got it! Trying to channel his inner Yan. And Penguin backwards tried to help out Aachen, and that left Aeon all by themselves as great shot off the wall. Fuzzy Wuzzy Baby Penguin says GWAP is my brother. Confirmed! Well, GWAP, thank you for bringing Penguin into the fold. Penguin, I hope you have a great time in the lobby. We've got, uh, you know, it's becoming like the friends and family BVO. We got like James and Blaze. They play often if you know who they are. HN, we'll put that one in. They're brothers. Gladiator and the boss are basically brothers. They're not actually related, but longtime friends. Lots of uh, examples like that. Uh, Arab on Speds and As Does Milk, they're brothers. Are there any other brother combos I'm missing? Those are the ones that I could think of off the top of my head. But this one's the brother-sister combo. James and Blaze got their sister to play. But she was... I don't think she had ever played the game before. She was bronze. That was great. Your brothers only play Fortnite and uh, don't want to play Rocket League with you, so you're a lone boy. That's because they know that they're bad. You know, Rocket League... Rocket League's not for the faint of heart. I'm convinced that everyone who tries Rocket League once... And there's like, yeah, I never picked it back up. You know, eh, Rocket League is okay. They just, they couldn't drive, dude. They couldn't drive. They saw some guy in their, in their lobby flying, and they're like, well, I don't even know how to drive. So flying, that seems way out of my league. I'm out of here. And, oh, Spulak will get another goal for his team. And that will tie things up nicely. It comes down to A. Yannick and Z. H and tried to get that clear. Spulak was ready for it. They don't have the mechs. You know, when you when you intro someone to Rocket League, you can't be like that guy that uh, gets your friend into Smash and then you just pick Marth and then just, like, tipper them every time. Like, that's rude. Or if you're, like, really good at Smash, just don't shine them into oblivion with uh, with Falco, you know? Be like, yeah, you should play Rocket League with me. Flip resets on them. Like, okay, dude. I don't even know where my boost button is. <laughs> <laughs> Big shot, but Apex will take the save. Aeon off the side. Pass over to Penguin. Penguin at least forces Apex to make the move, and that effectively nullified Apex's movement in the rotation. Aeon waiting for Spulak. We'll get the challenge. Yeah, I'm also lulling x -Troll. Thank you. Dusk with you in RL and you with him in Siege. Ah, I see. Dude, Siege, I definitely was like, I'm low skill. I'm done with this. Apex will put the ball in the net, and that will give Blue the lead. Dopak flips it over the first man's head, and Penguin couldn't quite get there in time. Third man needed a little bit of time to get back, and they do not get that time. I played probably like 10 hours of Siege. I really tried, but like between the operators and not knowing what walls were shootable and where people could shoot me from. I didn't know what was happening. At least in Rocket League, I can watch a guy do something and be like, I don't know how he did that, but at least I watched him do the whole thing. In Siege, I could get shot from the other side of the building because of like three small holes and have absolutely no clue how I died. Because like the operator has like a special ability that I didn't know because I've only been playing the game for 10 hours. I got so frustrated with Siege, dude. 
that I was like, this is stupid. I've never played it since. Thing is, too, I, I was playing Siege when I was already big into a MOBA, which already takes a lot of brain power to, you know, keep up with knowledge-wise and understand what everything is doing. I'm, like, I'm not about to learn another MOBA's worth of game knowledge. That's not happening. It's going to take me 50 hours to understand everything that's going on. And watching YouTube videos to understand stuff is so boring. I hate it. I'd rather just play. That's the best way I understand things. Blue almost understand themselves. Uh, a fourth goal. That's not a sentence, but we can make... We, we, you know, we'll work with it. Don't whip it! No, don't pack! You can't miss that ball! It's okay. Apex got you backed up. Nice touch downfield, Aeon. Oh, we got the bump. No time on the clock. Oh, I thought he was risking it a little bit. I thought that time would run out and run thin, but it did not. Orange get their way through. Huge bump from Aeon to clear out the no midfield limit. defender. And that will tie things up. We may be going to overtime, depending on how this kickoff happens. So I definitely got spawn peaked on multiple occasions. Slen, you're 100% correct about that, and I have no shame admitting it. Here's the thing. Getting spawn peaked in any game will make anybody quit. All right? <laughs> Especially if you're first playing the game. Maybe my mistake is I was playing with friends. <laughs> Should have made myself miserable with solo queue. Oh, bounce off the ramp and bouncer! Oh, Aeon almost got it, but Blue will win the game. Uh, shout out to Penguin for your first time in the lobby. Hope you enjoyed yourself, but GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. Great game. Bruh. g -Wop, thanks for bringing your sister around. Hope she had a great time. See, so Penguin did Antarctica proud. A proud. Okay. There we go. Penguins, you know, live outside of Antarctica, too. All right, Q-Pop. Let's get our next six players in here. Reminder for everyone in the chat that those just getting in do not redeem the Joey Plays the Next Game reward with how it affects the overlay and the overall performance of the stream. We will not be taking any more of those rewards at this time. Thank you for your understanding. Thanks, Slim. <laughs> I'm not a little bit salty I got clipped on on top of all of that. Totally not. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I got five players ready. Just waiting on chips. Once chips hits the ready button, we're good to go. Map change to Champions Field. I got you. What a save! We're going to Champions Field. Chips got fried. Well, fried chips are not on the menu. Chips is gone. We'll add chips back in. Replacing chips will be Junior Coffee. <laughs> the moment you've all been waiting for game seven brought to you by pringles get your chip all right i see junior coffee let's create the lobby lobby is yyz great song Shout out if you get the reference. All right. Lobby's up. It's time. One game, five minutes, zero, zero decides. Who goes home? Who wins the trophy? We're on the most historic map in Rocket League history. Many a player have posted their banners up on the rafters in this very stadium. If you look somewhere, where are they? 
Where are they? Oh, they're up there. There they are. We're not underway yet. I gotta change the time. There we go. <laughs> they're up there. <laughs> oh, man. They added joining private lobby from free play. Oh, did they? Yo. Dude, this is like, this is the biggest quality of life update we've had in a while. That's sick. We're just waiting on, uh, I don't know who Kane is. I guess it's uh, Cairo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're going. It's been a thing for a while now. Well, okay, Monarch. I didn't know, Okay. <laughs> All right, we got Kane, uh, GC3, Puffin, Diamond3, and K-Flip, Champ1. On the other side, we've got Coffee, Champ1, Dusk, Champ1, and Leroy, GC1. <clears throat> they did that two updates ago? Got you. Okay, so it started with joining private lobbies from free play. And then it continued with K-Flip scoring this first goal. And the journey kept on going with adding U.S. Central servers. And then they added boost on nameplates. What else is coming? Did I change mic or mic settings? Why? What sound? Does it sound weird? I didn't change anything. Here you go. How's this? Does that sound better for you? I did that. Maybe that'll uh, maybe that'll loosen things up for you. You think it was your headphones? I don't know. I probably changed my settings as soon as uh, you changed your headphones. So now you don't know. On a pie, blue, one touch, two touches, saved, and the rebound will not be happening for Puffin. Cleared right down the middle of the field. K-Flip got the save. Chain, 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 chain dash. Lots of chain dashes. Nice flip off the board, and into the net. Puffin goes right through the defense for the second goal of the game. Everyone went to commit. Coffee also had to avoid the demo from Kane on the play. Bro was skedaddling. He was uh, skibbity doing. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! Okay, he got it. He got it. You still don't know how to chain dash? Well, I don't really think you need to know how to chain dash. But learning how to dash on the wall in general would be a good skill to learn. You should be able to dash on every surface. Least important of those, the ceiling. Which would be the hardest place to wall dash. And it's in. Oh, it's in. I did not think that would go in. Coffee will pick it up, though. Coffee... Just an easy shot. We don't get the context of that replay. Yo, what's up, Frosty? How you doing, dude? What you need to know is how to horse dash. What? Dusk, yo, what's up? Got the goal. Nice work right off the kickoff. And oof. K-Flip almost had that read. That had a lot of force. It's going to be coming back. On that straight line, tough to get the read. How'd I feel about the major? Uh, I thought the major was ridiculously awesome. Uh, I thought production was great. I thought the games were great. Definitely one of the best tournaments we've ever had. Uh, I don't know if I will say right here ever had 
but definitely one of the best tournaments we've ever had. Kane will get another goal. And it comes straight back out into the third and will whip it into the net. Coffey tried to find a way in, but he could not. I think Frosty has played uh, once before in blue versus orange. And he did absolutely run right on the lobby, from what I remember. Maybe I'm thinking of Wavy. Low touch off the bar and played back out to the side. He said triple resets incoming. If y'all give Frosty enough space to triple reset, I'm going to be upset with you guys. Less than two minutes to go. After everything I've taught you. <laughs> Orange have the midfield. Pass over a little too deep for Leroy. And cleared right back down to the Orange half. Yeah, I was thinking of Wavy then. Got you, Frosty. Well, happy to have you here, man. Hope things are going well for you, dude. Yes, Len, that's not to mention that, you know, I had Wavy on for show matches literally a year before he had his pop-off. And I was like, this kid is going to be ridiculous. Just wait. But I'm just saying. I called it. Oh, Kane was hoping that would bounce. Leroy with a good catch. Leroy from the midfield line with a reset. <laughs> Trying for the clips. Not going to happen. And Orange will steal it. Third got caught looking at the ball and not looking at the players. We're looking here, it's K-Flip. He's just watching the ball the whole way. He thinks Kane's going to get that second touch. But he's got second man there as well. No reason for K-Flip to be pushing up the field so hard. And Deepok, what's up, dude? How you doing? Put him in the map like how George Washington Carver put peanut butter on the map. Did George Washington Carver put peanut butter on the map? I feel like anybody who just smashed a bunch of peanuts together probably put peanut butter on the map. You know what I mean? I don't feel like George Washington Carver gets to claim peanut butter. That's like Thomas Edison claiming electricity. K-Flip. Stays with it and won't be able to get the touch. Kane, everyone a little panicky here in the corner from blue. Don't leave the net open. And they've let the net open the entire time. And it flows right through. Puffin gets the goal. Somehow forced it through the orange team here. K-Flip with a nice little touch. Puffin with a half flip. I don't think I've ever seen Puffin half flip before. <laughs> that might be the first half flip ever. And it leaves to directly to a goal. It was not your first half flip ever. It's your first one at BVO. The Puffin got done from dusting a bronze like 12 to 3 and was bragging about it in chat. And now he's got himself the game leading, possibly game winning goal. A dusk with a catch and a flick, but no power. Puffin gets the touch. Kane tries to keep it up for some reason. Just wants to keep Leroy out of the play. And Kane will finally keep it on the ramp. Never mind, we play on. The demo leaves the ball in the air for Dusk. Plays it back to Leroy. Coffee's got no boost. Needs Dusk down the field. Dusk underneath, but no goal. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the line. <laughs> he said for Antarctica. Crazy. All right, we pop the next players in the queue. Next up is As Does Milk, Bishy, G Wob, God Killer Mank, RC, and Tene. You like 46 for Aussie? Uh, that'll probably be in like a, roughly an hour. All right, I have As Does Milk, G Wob, RC, and Tene. All ready to go. I just need Zen Strike and uh, Tene. No, I got Tene. I need Squishy's biggest fan.
All right, we'll re-add Squishy's biggest fan to the queue. Replacing him will be... Uh, Dank Avocado. How do you leave? Just exclamation point Q leave. All right, we got God Killer Mank RC, Dank Avocado. Dank Avocado, I just need to see you hit the ready button and then I, I create the lobby. All right, lobby's up. <clears throat> Get on in here. Dude, I cannot hear myself. If everything is turned up. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right, there we go. How are we doing today, Stompa? We're doing good, man. Thank you for asking. All right, waiting on everyone to get in here, and then we play. Can we vote that Frosty moved up in the queue? I don't like to make special exemptions. Once Asdis Milk joins his team, we'll be good to go. All right, we got our next lobby up. You would like to see Frosty play? All right, Chad, how about this? Let's do this. If you want to have a say, let's have a say. All right, we'll keep this vote going for... A little bit of time. I'll let you guys decide. You got the poll up? Go ahead and vote. In this lobby, we've got... Uh, RC, Champ 1, Dank Avocado, Diamond 2, and Vatizen, Diamond 1. On the other side, we've got T, Champ 2, GWAB, Plat 3, and as does Milk, Diamond to one. But T will score first. Now, as does Milk, he came to us as a gold not too long ago. He wormed his way up to plat, and he's now evolved into a bipedal being into Diamond. Welcome to the Diamond ranks. How's the vote going? Got a lot of yes, rigid discipline rules. Getting some votes, but 10A keeps on scoring. This one comes off the kickoff. The wave dash kickoff does not work out for him. And 10A will easily put it in. All right, we'll put Frosty in the next game. Well, I don't know. We still got five minutes on it, but I see the initial votes. If anyone else votes, you got to beat nine votes. Vaddy's in. Will score immediately. And Blue split the lead quite easily here. As does Milk causes a triple commit. Or he doesn't cause a triple commit. Rather, Orange just triple commit on the play. And no one is watching the play develop. Everyone's just looking at the ball and diving at the ball. Got to make sure you're keeping an eye on the entire pitch and not just the ball. What's up, Notchrez? How you doing, man? Great to see you. RC, light touch, back over. Dank Avocado, huge touch and huge goal. Got through the orange team on this one. And how does this get through? 10-8, tried for that controlled touch, just a little too heavy. It got away from him. And third man was sitting over in the other corner. That's GWAB. GWAB, the plant three of this squad. And a tough one. 
Great for all three people on the opposite team of Frosty to go for demos. I just, just challenge the ball. Whoa, Orange, what's going on? A little haphazard here from Orange. Kickoff does not go their way, and oh, we're lurking. Nobody's back, though. And we're lurking for a touch when nobody's rotated back, and again, we're just not really aware. And we got to be a little more aware. Orange lent. Two low awareness goals go in, and this one just goes in for free. RC gets another one. Vaddy's in, flipping in front of it over Asda's Milk's head, and he makes a great move against GWAB to play it across. That's a good move. Again, Diamond 1 versus the Plat 3. The Diamond 1 wins. What's up, a little? Good to see you. Dunked on the play, and Orange get one back. <laughs> the defense... Only a question mark in this lobby and not necessarily the answer. Tene hops right over him and he gets another kickoff goal. Orange will start their comeback here quickly. We've been doing all right. We've been doing all right a little. Thank you for asking. GWAB and Tene moving with it, but Dank Avocado gets there. RC missing contact. Said there is no D. You love this game. Got to be frustrating for the team letting the ball in the net, though. Dag Avocado tries to keep it close. He gets deleted instead. The ball rolled off the ramp. Now Orange could get set up here, as does Milk following closely. And won't get a chance at the touch. One thing you can definitely improve on as a player is always make sure, ask yourself, is there a player on the backboard as that ball is heading towards it? The answer is yes, more times than not. Your, your question of should I go should be no. Or should not no, it should just be wait. Dank Avocado, wow, T somehow gets the save. Laid his car out, didn't flip, knew that shot, follow-up shot was coming. And RC, he gets himself through but can't get the ball in the net. Oh, that ball coming across. Vaddy's in, trying to find it. RC getting deleted. Orange doing everything they can to keep Blue out. Love to get this comeback. Not a lot of power from RC, but he gets a good follow-up. And then deleted again. How many demos in a row have this been? It's like four or five demos in a row. Oh, no. RC's flipped toward the ball. He got to make up for it. Couldn't get to it. 10A up in the air. He's got the touch. Rebound comes out for free, and as this milk, not going to get the touch. Tene will come across, and I thought for sure that that was going to be an orange goal, but instead, we're playing on. Orange only have a one-goal deficit instead of a tied game. Tene tries to get there as this milk. I don't know where he's flipping, but he's taking himself out of position, out of the rotation. Now GWAP having to run back as Tene respawns. GWAP watching the play on the wall, coming down, just got a touch, but it's not enough. It laughs at him the whole way into the net. Dank Avocado drops the guacamole in the net, and that one was for free. Absolutely stuffed him on the 50-50, and Asda's Milk is gone. What happened to Asda's Milk? Well, Asda's Milk has been warned twice before about leaving lobbies early, so if he did rage quit, he's going to get banned from the queue for a day. Uh, we've told him about that, so hopefully it's not that and maybe something else is going on. Give me one second while I look. Trying to find him right now. Give me a minute. All right. We'll get in there and finish out the game. Uh, tomorrow, Asda's Milk will be banned from queuing. 
And as this is, uh, he got two warning shots. This is the first band. Second band's going to be for a week. Third band will be for a month. And fourth band will be permanent. So I think there's plenty of times to not rage quit. All right. Let's go ahead and finish out this game. I'll get in there. Time or the overlay will stop. So keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and unpause the game. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're doing fine. There we go. We'll drill it. Let's see if Orange can come back. And that first shot denied. Oop, free ball. g will take it. It's fine. Dank Avocado played it quickly. Everyone getting tied up on blue. Jorby just trying to run through them. But the plow ran out of snow to find. Jorby with a full tank of boost. RC felt the demo coming. Did get bumped. Dank Avocado moving to the other side. 10-8. Gets the force out. G-Wob tries to get there. Jorby safely. No. Oh, yeah. Close. Wait, what? Okay, okay. Put it in. Oh, g Wob the muscles. Flex your guns. Tene puts it on the other side. Jorby just sitting there, happy to be part of the crew. And with 17 seconds left, Orange may come back into this one. Oh. I don't know why that transition card is happening right there. I think we're just cutting the, uh, the replay too early. We're just going to play it to the corner. We don't get it. That's fine, though. Running out of time. We got to get downfield. Big booms. I don't have boost. 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 I need the pads, but there's no pads. 10 and go. 10 and go. Oh, good, good try. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. that into a blue win there we go huh. all right pop the next players in the queue as this milk has been banned that ban will remain in effect until the end of the stream tomorrow he'll be able to play again wednesday again if it happens again he'll be banned for a week then a month then permanently Plenty of times. Remember, I do not appreciate you raging out of the lobby early. There is literally no reason to. Finish out the game. It's only one game. It's not a best of your plan. We got Erebon Speds, Roro, Devexium, Stompa, Chips, and Decibel. Please hit that ready button for me. Thank you very much. Arab on Speds needs move down, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh. Replacing Arabian Pogger will be Monarch. Monarch, you are up now. Oh, wait. Frosty was supposed to be up next. My bad. Give me a second here. Monarch, I'm actually going to take you out. All right. Let me check the uh, list here real quick. All right, adding Frosty to the match. I put Forsty, genius. All right, let's go ahead and rebalance, and everyone hit that ready button for me one last time, please and thank you. All right, Stompa, Chips, Frosty, Roro, Decibel, and Devexio. Dang, how 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 is Jorbot giving Frosty a GC3 to play with? That's not fair. <laughs> I'm tempted to switch Roro and Chips.
All right, let's go ahead and create the lobby. It says I'm not connected to Rock League servers. Okay, I got a roasted peanut for a blueprint. That's weird. Okay, a roasted peanut. What? Okay. I'm not even kidding. I think it said. All right. Lobby's up. Try to get in here. Mighty Line, your power blacked out. All right. Sorry to hear that. That sucks. Give me a second here, and I'll remove you from the uh, from the list. There we go. Okay. You should be able to queue up again. All right. All right. Nope. Everyone's able to get into the lobby. And once everyone's in, we'll be good to play the game. I got Stompa, Roro, Frosty, Devexium, and Chips in here. Beautiful. All right, we got Chips. We're just waiting on Decibel. Don't tell me Decibel's not here. Decibel! All right, Monarch. It turns out you're going to be in here anyway. We're going to rebalance. So let's, uh, once the rebalance happens, we're going to recreate the lobby, and then we'll get going. All right, lobby's up. Let's go. <laughs> we got Frosty no longer has a GC3 on his team. This looks much more balanced to me now. <laughs> the thing the thing is with Jorbot is that Jorbot doesn't take MM, actual MMR number into account. It just takes the base MMR of each rank. So it's balancing Frosty as like a base level SSL. But we all know that there are levels to SSLs. We got one, two, three, four players in here. You guys can join your sides when you're ready to go. We're just waiting on everyone to get in. I'm waiting on one more, and that is Stompa. So once we see Stompa, we will get playing. Stompa will take a minute. All right, let's go. On blue, we've got Frosty. Yes, Snowman Frosty. Joining the ranks of the pros that have played in blue versus orange before. We've had pros across the world play from OCE and SSA. And even North America with Wavy. And Frosty joins us. A lot of the players in the lobby, every player in the lobby, has played in blue versus orange a ton. And so this should be a fun one to see uh, how <laughs> not just the players adapt to Frosty, but how Frosty handles these 
these lobbies. We'll see how it goes. We got Stompa here, Stompa Plat 2, and Daddy Roro Champ 3. On the other side, we've got Chips GC3, Monarch Diamond 2, and Devexium Champ 2. So you've got Chips the GC3 on Orange, who's Orange's best weapon against the ice. But Frosty easily clears that away and gets the clear downfield. Hard skip. Stompa couldn't get there. Daddy Roro flicking it out. Or, or not, he didn't really flick it out, really. He just kind of flicked in place. Orange tried to go underneath. Daddy Roro forced off the play. The biggest difficulty for... Uh, <laughs> the biggest difficulty for Orange is apparently stopping this Musty. I thought that was savable. But I guess I was wrong. He hits him with a quick attack off the sidewall. And Monarch could not get there in time. He whipped right in. Apex very upset in chat. But I don't... Uh, who was the... Who was the middleman there? Was it Devexium? Trying to get that save. Devexium didn't expect to pop on that Musty. How many times has Devexium seen a Musty? Let alone had to defend one. Chips... Puts it up high off the wall and Devexium trying to play fast. Monarch, good touch. That's a great touch from Monarch trying to avoid Frosty on the play. And look what it gave Chips, a shot. That was a great touch from Monarch. It's the only way you're going to beat Frosty is if you keep him off the ball for as long as possible. If you see him on the ball, you challenge him as quickly as possible. It's the only way you can survive. But you also have to be one at a time. Don't be double, triple committing on him. Daddy Roro, keep the ball locked into the blue half. Frosty moving to the opposite side. Monarch takes the boost from him. Chips downfield, receives the pass. Frosty still recovering. This is their chance. The Devexium gets demoed on the play. Frosty now runs clean. It's only Devexium back. Can he make the save? No. Frosty ices up and got the second goal of the game. But still a good try from Orange. They did the job they needed to do. They isolated Frosty early on the play. They just couldn't get the rebound to put it on target into the net. That's where the job comes for Roro and Stompa, which is straight up. That's all Frosty. That's all Stompa and Roro have to do. Hit the ball. Frosty should be able to play off of it. You just got to buy him a second or two and let him do the rest. Devexium with a hard kick, and Frosty will quickly, or quickly clear it down the field. Oh, he dusts Monarch on the play. He's just too speedy. We'll go in. And watch it one more time. Found the read and kept his speed on the double hop. Monarch, not a bad approach at all to get to the ball. Frosty just lands quickly, gets back to the ball quickly. You know, that's the toughest part about playing against a, pl uh, a player like Frosty is that you see the ball move in ways that you're not used to. Your brain hasn't really downloaded what to do with some of those reads. Poor flick. That was an easy to defend from Monarch. And he'll stay on it. Cleared back to the midfield line. Devexium skips it over one. Stompa bumps him out of the play. Frosty moves it again, but saved. And he'll stay with it. Frosty with a loose ball for his teammate. But Devexium keeps it out of the net. And Orange get a goal here. Chips threatening, but just a heavy touch. Couldn't get back to the reset. And Frosty moves right by an aggressive challenge from Monarch. There is some time for Devexium to play it. Both commit on blue. Stompa and Roro go. Now Frosty's left all by his lonesome. Devexium playing headhunter. Frosty avoids him and jumps over the attack to play the ball downfield. No one from blue there, though. Everyone's still recovering. Monarch will get the clear. And <laughs> oh, if at first you don't succeed, call the other team. And maybe they'll put the ball in the back of the net. Monarch getting an assist. Just remember, guys, in blue versus orange, if you've owned gold, so is Frosty. <laughs> just, a, just a wee mistouch there from Frosty. Oh, whip it! Whoa, as, uh, you know, just on cue there from Daddy Roro on the whiff. Hilarious stuff. Now Frosty moving it back. Orange got a gold. This, this could be it, chat. This could be the difference Bruh. maker. They just got to get to him. Go, 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 go. No, you got to turn in. Frosty just keeps the ball in the air. Orange team are flipping and flopping like they're fish in a tank. When are they going to get fed again? Well, who knows when they're coming home. Frosty 
freeze in the tank. A minute 10 left, and he is absolutely dicing him. But I gotta say, good form from Orange on some of these plays. Drop down to Devexium. Little popper. Frosty's got it. We'll clear it back out to the opposite side. Daddy Roro. Whoa, tried the quick wave dash popper. It didn't work out for him. I do love that the confidence in Frosty's teammates has increased tenfold. They're just going for it. Going for wave dash. Going for little wave dash pops on the ground. Stuff I've never seen Roro go for. Stompa jumping at everything. Although he does that. A good challenge. Get it away from Frosty. Can Orange get one of their own? It's been a tough battle. Frosty on the back line. Monarch sitting underneath it. He's got the challenge. And the 50, but flips over the ball. Frosty takes the boost away. Chips gets the challenge. Monarch sitting downfield, just trying to stay out of the way. But Chips didn't have enough on the play. Devexium, boomer, downfield. Chips has got a chance. Chips, once. Chips, twice denied. Monarch deleted. Time running thin. Frosty. And my God, Frosty. <laughs> He's just so quick with it. If you want to know what the ceiling is from SSL to pro, you know how many SSLs I see with that movement, that play in BVO? Zero. Zero. Maybe the closest SSL we've seen with movement that clean is Regser. And Regser doesn't have a cleaning movement as Frosty does. Just goes to show you the difference. Chip says he's aware of his placement in this game. Frosty, thank you so much for playing, man. I appreciate you coming by the stream. I hope you had a good time. <laughs> Thanks for hum humbling my chatters. I don't know if they needed it, but you certainly gave it to them. <laughs> oh, man. GG's. Let's go ahead and resolve that one. Into a blue win, and then we'll go ahead and pop the next players in the queue. All right, Frosty, go do your homework. School is important. Thanks for hanging out again, man. Hope to see you soon. Good luck this split. Next up, we got your boy Caleb, Dark Kami, Finksy, Scyther, Erebon Speds, and Hammy. Hammy XRD. Stompa says he didn't feel like he got to play. I'm sorry, Stompa. <laughs> maybe I'll put the two. Maybe I'll put. <laughs> Stop, but maybe I'll put you back in the queue. Maybe, maybe I'll put you back in the top. We got four players ready. I'll tell you what, if someone doesn't show up for this one, Stomp, I'll just put you in. I do feel bad. Well, it, it felt bad to put a plat with a pro. <laughs> All right, we got Womp Womp, Dark Kami, Caleb, Scythers, and Erebon Speds ready. I just need Hammy. Hammy, hit the ready button. All right, there we go. Hammy's here. All right, lobby's up, guys. Get on in here. Turns out Frosty's pretty good at the game. Now, don't lie. One of you goofballs are definitely one of those Rocket League Twitch chatters that are like, how did Frosty miss that? My God, put me in. One of you. I see some of y'all in the in the Rocket League main chat. I won't say names. I'm not saying you said that, but I do see you in the chat. Hello, MD. What's up, dude? Good to see ya. You're not that guy X trolled? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Slen, I think you would beat Frosty by the sheer dumbfoundedness Frosty would feel by how you how you play. All right, we got. We're waiting on one more, and we've got him. Let's play the game. On blue, we've got Fanksy, GC two, Sakukami, GC two, 
And your boy Caleb, champ one, on the other side. We've got Saigo, champ two. Erebon Speds, champ three. And Acoustic, GC2. Now, I think Hammy XRD has played in BVO before. Uh, Hammy XRD being Acoustic. You got a new work schedule, so you might be able to play more BVO now. Nice. Or as I like to say, nice. And nice, Caleb. Got the goal. 34 seconds into the game is all it takes. Not even 34. Oh, yeah, it is 34. You can't do simple math under pressure. All right, we got... Another day, another blue versus orange matchup. What was the match history today? So in the overall, orange have won 539 matches. Blue have won 534. It has been blue winning most of the games today. And blue continue on scoring. Caleb, 303 Caleb XX picks it up. Saigo tried to handle that ball and flipped early. Was hoping for power, but he didn't get it. You know, he gets the big booms. It's over their whole team's head. But instead, he got the big no-no. Whoa, 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 whoa. That had to have been the most interesting kickoff I've ever seen. I did not know what was going to happen. Chat, if there's one thing you guys always do, it's keep me on my toes. Sometimes I just get completely speechless. Well, it's okay. And always remember, blue versus orange is for fun. Acoustic will play it back and no contact. Erebon Spez was expecting it and he doesn't get it. Oh, the wave dash 50 from Fanksy. Dices him on the plate. Watch him one more time. Look at him roll with the on-ball movement. Got it under one and wow. He got the goofy wave dash goal. Making it three nothing for the blue side. Great shot from Fanksy. So yeah, it's been blue win, blue win, blue win, blue win, blue win, blue win, blue. Wait, what? So blue have won the last five games. Orange won the game before that. Then blue win, blue win, blue win, blue win. Orange have won two games today. Wow. Wait, what did he say? Saku Kami said, can I get more than six points, please? I'm meant to be a GC, too. Oh, no. We're having an existential crisis. Saku Kami with ten points. That's more than six, if that makes him feel any better. Fengsi tried to get there. I feel you. That was me today in the lobbies. I straight up tilted out. I won't even lie. Out to the corner, Saigo. It's on top of the ball. He's got Acoustic downfield. Fengsi with the first save, but Acoustic can't get it by him. Now Fengsi might have a loose ball. Orange are keeping form right now. Saigo and Erebon Sped sitting close. Working the ball downfield. Nice low in inside. Got the popper. Where's Acoustic? Well, he's got to play deep because Fengsi had it covered. Saigo playing the midfield. And he'll get a follow-up bump as well. Erebon Sped moving. But popped up high off the wall. Tough ball for Acoustic to grab. Still, the challenges are effective from Orange. They'll stay in the blue half, despite the clears. Did SSG, Shopify, Rebellion, or Dignitas make a change? Uh, it hasn't been officially announced, but Shift reported that Stizzy is replacing Gyro on Dignitas. Other than that, though, uh, there have not been many changes. I know Space Station are staying the same. As far as I know, Shopify, Rebellion are staying the same. And that ball cleared out to the opposite side. Orange will retain their three-goal deficit. Aqua is on NRG. And that's about it. Of course, Dan Avocado. Thank you for coming by and playing, my man. Clear out. Caught by Erebon Speds, but not on target. Couldn't quite find it. Off, off the ceiling. Challenged by Saku. Nice move from Fengsi. Couldn't get any of the power, nor was it on target. Pops it over one. Here comes Orange. And poor Orange 
All the pressure, nothing to show for it. A good effort overall, too. I love the aggressive challenges in the midfield. It's really what you like to see is taking the effective risks, hanging on to the ball, creating possessions. But as we all know, Rocket League is the hardest game in the world. And it's not enough to just win your challenges in the midfield and make the correct aggressive decision. You got to also get the quality opportunities in front of the box. And then shutters hit the open net. Granted, Orange have not had an open net this game. But here might be one opening. Arabot Spence couldn't squeeze it off the post. Caleb will get another clear. And Orange just may be scoreless for this entire game. Yeah, I am very surprised that NA did not make more moves. Uh, but when I think about potential moves, you know, I, I, I wish I knew the politics. Because I know that politics really dictate 99% of all roster moves. Especially in the major region. But that one comes down and drops down. GG, let's give it up for all six players in the lobby. Yeah, I wish I knew the politics. Because then I'd understand... I may understand, A, why teams don't make changes or why teams replace specific players. All right. We're popping our next queue. Because otherwise, you just speculate. You're like, well, I don't know. On paper, that seems like a bad move, but it's really hard to actually say. All right, next up, we got Powerful Lord, Exonym, Potatoes, Jider, Vanessa, and Slen. Everyone go ahead and hit that ready button. I got to pee really quick. I will be right back. All right, FPS Hamilton, you should have just taken the ball more. Trusted too much? I mean, in mixed rank lobbies, you have to trust a little bit. Cut every once in a while, but don't be don't be an asshole about it. <clears throat> All right, we got. I'm not saying you were or you would have been. I feel like it's always good to clarify. I only have four people ready: Potatoes, Powerful Lord, Vanessa, and Slen. I'm missing Exodim. And I'm missing Jider. I think Jider needed to leave the queue. So we're going to go ahead and take him out. And then we're also missing uh, Exonym. Hello. Yes, little kitty. I got a little kitty here. Uh, replacing those two will be Simple. And Juso. I'm going to go ahead and rebalance. All right, X-Troll, sounds good. Uh, guys, I will say that uh, I don't think I said it earlier, but uh, there is a slight change that we're going to be doing. Uh, so 
in the last hour of the stream today, uh, so at the top of this hour, I'm gonna be start. I'm gonna start doing uh, some team previews. So today we're gonna be looking at Space Station. Uh, so I'm gonna we're gonna look at Space Space Station's like record, see who they played against, talk about them a little bit, and then I want to watch a series that they played. Uh, we're probably gonna watch the Gen G series just in the lead up to RLCS uh, Split Two starting. So I'm gonna be doing like team previews. Uh, in the last hour of every day uh, just to kind of start adding more content to the stream. So we'll be doing blue versus orange for three hours, uh, which should get us all, uh, should get everybody a game that queues up. And uh, then we're going to move to RLCS content with uh, like the team preview stuff. And I'm, I plan on doing a lot more other stuff as well. So I uh, just wanted to be clear about that. But I got one, two, three, four, five players ready. I see simple. And Juso are ready. Those were the two I was concerned with. So let's go ahead and create the lobby. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at Space Station. And Space Station are the interesting case to me. We'll get into it more. Uh, we'll get into it more at the top of the hour. But the only you know team they long they got to face in the playoffs were Gen G and. They got gate kept pretty hard. They were probably the biggest conversation piece of teams that didn't make the major that maybe should have or could have made the major had they faced any other team but Gen, Gen G or G2 for that matter. Yo, uh, sorry, the SFS man. Uh, just catching you over on YouTube. Hopefully you're still here. Uh, but yeah, you can join via the link you uh, up at the top using HTTPS colon backslash backslash discord dot GG slash Jorbit. You can join up in Jorbit, follow the instructions in the start here channel, and you can figure out how to create a profile and how to get registered and queue up. We'd love to have you. We got five people in the lobby. I see six. Slensei has joined us. All right, Slen. Let's see it. We got on blue, powerful Lord, GC2, Slen, Diamond 1. And simple, champ three. On the other side, we've got Juso, Vanessa, and Potatoes. Juso, champ two. Vanessa, champ two. Potatoes, deleted, champ two. There we go. Say hot take, LG will miss the next major. Considering how they played near the end of Swiss. Bold, but it is North America. I'm definitely one of the people that would say anything could happen. Especially since the region did not make many changes. <laughs> Monarch straight up. Monarch straight up left. He stopped watching Vitality Luminosity. Oh, wait, no, Monarch. I think you came back for that game, right? But, y'all, I wish you were in here because Monarch, he's a huge Luminosity fan. And the man was absolutely sweating. It was amazing. And Powerful Lord. We'll put the first ball in the back of the net. Four minutes in. They won off a of cringe. See, bro, he's so upset. <laughs> he's so upset about it. I wouldn't be this upset if Furia got double demoed and lost. I'd be like, well, I mean, they got demoed. You're up next, Major. <clears throat> Blokes, Cougars, Oxygen. Whoa, dude. Yeah, no K Corp. Okay. No BDS. Okay. Uh, unless something changes, I think we will still be doing the Top Cougars Friday streams. But I don't want to assume. We'll have to confirm with Gregan. But I'm hoping we do get to do those. As that ball comes down, I did enjoy uh, following the Cougars through their RLCS runs. As always, guys, with the start of the split, you know what that means, that blue versus orange proper on RLCS weekends. That means Fridays, you likely will not have blue versus orange. Uh, as long as everything goes according to plan, I should have a stream to be casting as this one goes right in. Powerful Lord will score uh, for an org stream, if you will. Juso lost the touch here. Simple makes it easy off of the demo. And we'll put it in the back of the net.
Next approve has had C2 team winning this. Now, next improvement, you have been on the stream. Powerful Lord has played. You got the Powerful Lord doubt in you. You got Simple, the best champ two shooter I've ever seen. All right, Simple's, wait, Simple champ three now. Yo, let's go. Simple's been champ two ever since he started queuing in September. I was wondering when that dude would level up. There it is. Dude, C3 is tough these days. Y'all see the rank distribution for this last season? Champ 3 is as hard to get into as GC2 was hard to get into back in Season 10. <laughs> oh, Apex, Apex, Apex. So much I could say, but I don't got anything to say because Juso lets his gameplay do all the talking. Powerful Lord. Tried to keep that ball close. That is not the pinch he wanted. He wanted a roller, not a bouncer. It slaps right into the net. Looks like the Champ 2 squad may be coming back. You just figured the Champ 2 chemistry would uh, would pop. Sometimes it does. That's why you can't get C3. Yes, Potatoes. If you've been C2 for like four seasons, then that means you have actually improved at the game. Relative to the curve, they just adjusted everything. So, like, if you were in Champ 2 in Season 10 and you didn't get any better, then you likely would be in, like, Diamond 3. So, if you ended up moving down a little bit, that doesn't mean you necessarily got worse. Slent getting in front of this one, got the challenge. Powerful Lord, he's up. Beautiful touch. Juso didn't even see him. What was Juso seeing? Powerful Lord blinded him on this play. Oh, yeah, he's looking at the ball. Ball vision, man. It's so easy. It's so easy to see that ball whip across. Your brain's like, read it, read it, even though you're not going to do anything. The next thing you know, the ball's in the back of your net. Yo, no one could do it better. Thank you for the prime sub. You're dang right. I don't think anyone could do that prime sub better. Anyone? If you think you could do it better, drop that prime sub in chat. Thank you so much. No one can do, be can do it better. All right, people have advantage. Thanks for hanging out. Always appreciate it. See if Patats can give him the rock. Oh, oh, wait, okay. High ball. Everyone's leaving. No one's in the midfield. Get in the midfield. Oh my God, if that went in, I'd have put some Mickey ears on all y'all real quick on orange. I've been the Mickeyest goal of BVO. The powerful Lord gets the boomer. But less than a minute to go. Slense, no touch. Simple, big touch. Simple, staying with it. It will rock back out to the opposite side. Hey, Rotomek, it's good to see you back, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Good idea there. Good idea trying for the demo fake. And, well, unfortunately for you, this is Powerful Lord's Manor. And he charges a minute premium to stay on it. As you can see, every single minute he scored a goal. So if you lost the major on the same day as your birthday, no, dude. That's how I feel. This is how I feel about that. I was super sad, man. With how good they looked, I don't know what happened in playoffs, but they just weren't the they weren't the same. Well, I do know what happened in playoffs. Vitality just straight up demoed their aggression. Like, I'm sure you know everyone else. Everyone else saying like, well, Fury were just too aggressive. Personally, for me, I'm like, if you avoid those demos, then it doesn't matter if they were aggressive. But they kept getting demoed on the back line. And when you're aggressive and you get demoed, that's a recipe for disaster. Vitality downloaded them, and it was very sad. I was very sad, but it's okay. We regained. Split 2 going to be different. Split 2 going to be different. They, they showed their teeth, man. And I, I love all the respect Furia got this major. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby. personally think that it isn't Fury's aggression that did them in. It was the pure fact that they did not anticipate Vitality just turning off ball cam and demoing them. I think Vitality got like 10 demos total in that series. It was crazy. And every one of them just like kept putting them a step or two back. Lost birthday was on Swiss, so they had the buff. True. All right, we got 
Our next lobby up, Checker 101, The Boss, Gladiator, Chucky Brown. I need Roblox Bum Sweat. That is an insane name. And Alyssa, hit the ready button for me, please and thank you. Well, that's not the internet right there for you. All right. Let's tag them both. Give you a second to hit that ready button or just let me know you're in the chat. Yeah, Slensei was Diamond 2, or he, he goes between Diamond 1 to Diamond 3 at any at, uh, many given points. Depending on the rank split in the lobby, he could look like a champ. But he gets a little panicky in higher level lobbies. Chucky Brown says he's got to take a dookie, so I'm going to move him down. We're going to take out Roblox, Roblox Bum Sweat. That is really hard to say in a row. And we will take out Alyssa. We'll try all of them again in a couple of games. You know, I never expected in my life that I would... You know, in the history of words that have typed, Roblox bum sweat would be in that list. Life is truly incredible. All right. Last to add is Chucky Brown. All right. Replacing those three will be a little Chris M. And MD. You guys are our next lucky six. Go ahead. Or three. Go ahead and put that information in or you don't put any information in you just hit the ready button all right i got md ready you just need to see a little and chris m hit the ready button oh sorry it's uh chris uh a little and yeah md so I got MD, I got Chris, and I got a little. Beautiful. A little throwing in the early copium saying, hey, man, this game really sucks, and it doesn't like me. So I'm going to be bad. And I feel it. I feel you, Noob. The, the cycle of suck is a brutal, brutal thing. In the last two, ga last two days, I gained over 100 MMR in my games. I'm going to lose all of it on my next play. If you're not familiar with the Cycle of Suck, it is a legendary Sunless Con video. I highly recommend just Google Cycle of Suck Sunless Con and watch the glory. It's an older video, but it holds up and it will always hold up. The cycle of trying to improve at anything in life. You always face a GC in these BVO matches? Yeah, but Vanessa, you've ranked up since you first started playing in BVO. So if you think about it that way, all those matches against GCs led you to get that next rank up. One day you're going to beat that GC. All right, we got MD, a little, and Chris in here. Checker, the boss, and Gladiator here. Just need them to ready. What rank am I? Right now I'm in Champ 3. Champ 3 is tough, dude. Right now, Champ 3 is so tough. I can't get back to GC1. All right. We got our next game underway. Checker 101, Champ 1. The Boss, GC1. And Gladiator, Diamond 3. On the other side, MD, Champ 3. A Little, Champ 2. And Chris, Chris, Champ 1. When you join, are these teams you have to join? Or do you choose? Jorbot chooses for you. Uh, and that's why I ask that whatever rank you put, make sure it's your current rank, whatever's highest between twos and threes, because Jorbot will auto-balance based on what your rank is. And you'll know that information in the Active Match channel when you first join uh, in Discord. And that's just in the net. A little will score first. Welcome back to Blue versus Orange.
Are you saying your mental hold holds you back? I think all of our mental holds us all back. Because the brutal part about Rocket League is that you will go through stints where everything seems to click. And you're hitting the ball with power. What you wanted to do with the ball actually happens. You're moving the car in the ways that you're intending to move the car. And it just, nothing feels better than that. Like, it, like the straight flow state feeling that Rocket League gives you in those moments is unlike anything else in video games. And so it feels awful when you wake up the next day and that's just not there. Now you're just missing the ball. Now your launch is bad. Now, uh, like, now you're getting bumped for no reason. Now you're tilted, right? And especially you're like, why can't I just play like I did yesterday? Like, there is no other game other than Smash where you could be so good on a given day and then just be absolute trash the next day. That's just, oh my god, that's a disgusting shot, boss. He absolutely nailed this one. Checker. Lays down the chips and the boss. 137 kilometers per hour, bro? What? On your nose? A clean shot like that? What? What? I don't think I've ever seen 137 clean other than from, a, other than from Fruity. I think Fruity's the only player I've ever seen hit a clean shot over 130 kilometers per hour. I'm sorry, dude. I am still... This goal's going in, but it's an open net. 137? You're lucky to get that off of pinches. He must have hit that right on the corner of his octane. Like the literal one pixel length of power. I mean, jeez. Flip timing was frame perfect. Had to be. All right, I'm over it now. Yo, what's up, went on Rocket League? How you doing, man? Guys, I know I know y'all can feel it, but vibes in the Rocket League community have been a little bit better the last couple of weeks, hasn't it? We've had nothing but you know, it felt like for a while it was just nothing but bad news. You know, nothing nothing but nothing but poor uh, poor news. And then all of a sudden, the string of W's start coming in. It feels good right now. I'm excited to see what's next. Something tells me it, it might get even better. Chris gets it out over to a little. A little. Oh, almost got him. Gladiator got the save. Thought on the new boost update? I love it. I love it, Xvixity. It is. I've wanted that. I've wanted that for a very, very long time. I was very shocked to wake up this morning and open up Twitter and see that. Uh, that was an actual update that's going to be in the game. So I, I think that the nameplate boost update is huge. It will make the ranked experience so much better. Nice shot from MD. Got the bouncer. A little dumped it off and Chris dumped it high. Checker. Poor guy got ruined by his own ramp. <laughs> he just went. Wheel. Just flying in the air, dude. Where's bro going? I'm doing great, went on. Thank you very much for asking. New boost update. It's the first real gameplay update we've gotten in over half a decade. Like, to, to core gameplay. The boss will push it in, and well, blue team aren't quite done yet. The boss picks up two goals for his team. Checker, he's the guy on the assist both times, and he catches Orange out on their rotation trying to get back. The thing about the boost update, too, is that's the, that's the kind of change where when they were making more gameplay updates in, like, 2016, you know, if you played the game back in 2016, you, you know that almost every single gameplay update broke the physics in some way. Like, there, there was just... Even if it wasn't related to the physics themselves, somehow some change only adjacent to the physics would break the physics. So I'm curious... I'm curious if this update is going gonna, is gonna to break the physics because it's been a while since they've done that. You don't like the boost update whatsoever. Part of the fun is understanding 
uh, what your teammates will or will not have boosts. Uh, I completely disagree with that. I don't think it's a useful skill to have to have to fight your teammates for information. Info sharing as a skill should be limited to sharing info about your opponents. You shouldn't have to rely on your teammates, especially in ranked where there aren't really reliable voice comms. Uh, especially in the ranked... Uh, what am I saying? In, in ranked, like, it's just a quality of life update. It does nothing for the skill. It does nothing. The, the whole skill ceiling lower argument. I talked about this earlier in the stream. The whole it lowers the skill ceiling argument is just completely not factual. If anything, it raises the floor. And for high level players, what it does is it opens up your brain uh, to thinking about more important things. Position, intent for your teammates. But you shouldn't have to be battling your teammates for information. You just think it's more fun? I mean, fair enough. Hey, if they let you disable it, I think I think Psionic should let you disable it. I think it should be an, I think it should be toggleable. You know, if you don't want it there, if you think it's distracting, like that's more than fair. Uh, but I, I I won't hear arguments about skill ceiling or anything like that. GG's always will win the game. Give it up for us, it's great. So the boost update is on the nameplates on your teammates' cars. On the left side of it, there will be a little boost meter. So you'll be able to see how much boost your teammates have now. Uh, in the update, I'm guessing this week is when that's happening. So uh, likely as early as tomorrow. What I'm curious about is if we will see... Um, if Spectator will be able to see all the boosts on the nameplates. Because that would be like a double update right there. You know what I mean? We got our next six players in the Active Match channel. Apex, 80% Mollus, Kairokami, APNSB, New, and Fago. Hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. All right, we just need Fago, and then we're ready to go. All right, no Fago. Replacing him will be Ingo37. Ingo37. Check the Active Match channel in Discord underneath the post-game Sats channel. And hit that ready button for me, please, and thank you. Ingo immediately hits the ready button, and let's go ahead and set it all up. Lobby's up. Let's go. This is going to be a juicy lobby. <clears throat> all right. All right. Everyone getting in the lobby? Beautiful. Everyone's here. Let's play the game. We've got 80% Mullis, Champ 2, Apex, GC2, and Ace, GC2. On the other side, Kairokami, 
GC3. Or Kane, I guess. New. Uh, new is GC1. Then we got Ingo. Ingolo37, champ three. It's quite the high level lobby here. Lowest rank of champ two, highest rank GC3. And two GCs on each. One of our highest level, level lobbies of the evening. Uh, in Ingolo, I believe, is brand new to blue versus orange. Quite the experience to get in your very first lobby. Let's see, we'll have to wait. Apex, shot denied, and way wide of the net. Let's try to shuffle that. 80% Mollusk. Has to let it go. Ingolo staying with it and scooped up by 80% Mollusk. Risky ball. Orange were in the area, but two commit, and now it's wide open for blue. Good catch from Apex, and that'll be the first goal. Yep, got to be careful. The analysis is simple. Don't double commit. Ace throwing out the, uh, the FPS drop copium before he starts losing. Very smart to say it after your team scores. It's more believable that way. Said maybe the Rocket League updates are going through the suck cycle. The cycle of suck where now the updates are good. Eh. Here's, here's what I'll say to you guys. Game development and especially development after you've been acquired by a publisher slash developer is, uh, is very hard. And there are many, many processes and factors that go into really being a part of a company and making decisions as a company that really uh, prevent you from being able to do things you might otherwise do way earlier. There's also a certain amount of quality and polish that's necessary. 80% Mollusk absolutely nailed that ball. High touch. No one else could get there. Beautiful pass from Ace to 80% Mollusk. We got that redirect. I love that redirect. You're from Diamond 2 to Champ 2 since you started playing here in September. See? That's what I'm telling you. All that work against MGC is doing you good. Ingolo can't get there. Well, you still feel bad because your expectations change. Your expectations as a Diamond 2 were different than they are now as a Champ 2. But it's always good to remember where you came from. And that should help stymie some of the bad feelings. But trying to improve at anything is a never-ending ladder. And you never really want to look down to see where you came from. You only ever really look up. But you do have to remember to look down every now and again and remember how high you've climbed. 80% Mollusk. Push that ball down. Blue. Still pressing. Their arms are just getting to the touches. And, okay, that <laughs> director cam was taking its sweet old time switching cams there. Shout out to the opposite side. Also a good reminder for you guys that, you know, your rank is only a mark of how consistent you are. Not necessarily how you may play on any given day. 80% Mollusk looking for ace. Orange are getting more of this challenge, more of the ball. More possession, but I think they're just a little too willing to go for it. Kane was ready to go, and I think he thought that play was done. But he ended up killing it into the corner. Couldn't get anything out of it. Orange cleared downfield. Another demo. Apex got it, but 80% Mollusk. He's challenged on the play. Orange having to race back. 80% Mollusk already won redirect. Got a challenge out to his teammate. Aces shot denied. Huge save from New off the post. Crossbar, whatever you want to call it. It's all the woodwork. Orange barely keep the ball out. It's still within striking range. They can still find a way to tie it up. But they are running thin on time. They got to keep the ball downfield. Another double commit. A little panicky. And Kane will get the ball out through the midfield line. What can he do with it, though? Short touch. Pre-flip. Dunk? No. Cleared out over to the opposite side. Ingolo trying to hang on to the ball. New will also dump it back into the corner. 
80% Mollusk drills it off the wall. Coming down, free rebound. But the rest of Blue were playing off. Don't have to take too many risks. First one that comes to my head, uh, that bread song has been going around TikTok. That's the first one that comes to my head. Nice touch. Nice! No! Oh! That was supposed to be in! Oh! I'm gutted for Orange. But hey, good effort at the end. GG's. Give it up for all six players in the lobby, as always, guys. Thank you for playing. I think Blue might have caught up. Oh, no. Blue are close. Blue are within three games now of Orange. Somehow. Somehow, some way. All right. One second. There we go. Let's take a look at the Blue versus Orange stats for the day. We got Blue with 50 goals, outscoring Orange by 19 goals. Taking a lot more shots as well. It was really one-sided for Blue. Blue have not had many days like this. 33 assists compared to 17. Orange had more saves, which is typical of the losing side. Demos, you had a couple more demos and a couple more bumps uh, by... <laughs> Blue actually only had 11 more bumps than Orange. But that is the, uh, that's the rub on that today. So, guys, like I said earlier today, uh, we are switching up the schedule a little bit by, uh, we are doing some, if I can click the right things at the right time, I cannot. But we're going to be doing some team previews leading up to RLCS. Today we're going to be looking at Space Station, and that is, uh, right now is when we are starting that. So give me a moment here while I get that all set up. But thank you all for playing in Blue versus Orange today. We'll be doing it again tomorrow at the same time. A couple more moments here. We're going to be talking about uh, Space Station, their run in split one we're going to be looking at their results and then we're going to watch a uh, i think we're going to watch one of their playoff series against gen g we're going to try to figure out who are space station and what can they do to maybe beat that team this time around give me one moment here Chats, let's pull this up. I also want to pull ball chasing up. I want to search for groups. All right, I think we can switch here. So let's go ahead and switch ourselves over. Uh, switch, please. Switch! There we go. 
It switched. Beautiful. Okay. Move that off of here. Chat, we can make you a little bigger as we talk about this. We'll make me a little bigger. Uh, for some reason, replay groups are not loading in ball chasing. We'll figure that out in a moment because I do want to watch a replay. Uh, if you are watching over on YouTube, now is the time where I tell you we'll be ending the stream over on YouTube right now. Uh, if you want to watch our RLCS team preview, be sure to head over <clears throat> on twitch.tv slash Dorby, please. We'd love to see you guys there. Uh, thank you for hanging out for Blue versus Orange today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right.